Hello, hello, my friends. How is everybody doing? Welcome back to yet another live stream. Glad to have you guys all back on board. It is Saturday afternoon. Oh my goodness me. First and foremost, Bill Clinton, my man, coming with a $5 donation. He says, I lost my membership to YouTube and won't let me get it back. Here's a donation from Monica to cover that expense. I will get it back soon. Don't worry. Thank you so much, Bill, for the $5 donation. And of course, Alberto Delgadillo coming in with that $10 donation as well. Says, how it do? Alberto, thank you so much, man, for the support. Very much appreciated, my friend. Huge no floaties to both of you fine gentlemen. Thank you guys so, so much for supporting the channel. How's everybody doing? Welcome aboard. Hope you guys are all having a wonderful, wonderful Saturday afternoon. Oh boy, do we have some fun things in plan for you guys uh, today. This should be hella fun. First things first, uh, new mic sounds all okay. All right, good. That uh, headset sounds way better. All right, good, good, good. I'm glad you guys uh, think so. I'm glad that you guys think it sounds good. We're all Gucci Gucci. Everybody's good. Glad to hear it. Hope you guys are doing well. So first and foremost, guys, uh, let's just talk about a couple things that have changed here on the channel. First and foremost, uh, I'd like to direct your attention to the bottom right uh, on the uh, OBS. We have a brand new overlay, uh, which basically is showcasing the new T16000M setup that I'm using. Um, it is very cool. Uh, first things first, I just want to show you guys, everything works. Everything works. Look at that, guys. It's moving to my movement so you guys can see exactly what I am doing. The throttle moves too. The yoke moves or the joystick moves. The rudder pedals move. Uh, it is pretty cool. It is pretty nice. I'm thinking, uh, I'm thinking this is going to be a very nice setup. Should be interesting. Should let you guys see exactly what kind of movements we are making through the, uh, through the sim. Um... And of course, it puts the uh, the overlay up so everybody can see that uh, what we are using with our Thrustmaster gear. So we got the uh, T flight rudder pedals down below us. Even even the toe brakes work. How cool is that? Fucking wild! Absolutely amazing. Um, so yeah, guys, a couple new things to the stream. That is the main thing that we've been working on. Uh, of course, a huge shout out to Mr. Dan Barry who helped me set everything up. Like the good band Derry that he is. What a absolute gem for helping me set that up. Thank you very much, Daniel Barry. So hope you guys enjoy it. Uh, it should be cool. Uh, it should show you guys the exact inputs that I'm putting on the joystick while flying. Um, so it should be really, really cool. So without further ado, guys, let's go ahead and jump inside the pit today of the uh, Tolis A319. That is right. We are back in the Tolis. Oh, boy. Please, Tolis, don't let me regret this. All right. <laughs> first things first, let's go ahead up top here. We're going to grab our external power, battery one, battery two. Let's go and get our deer set to the nav position here as well. Nav and logo light can go on. Seatbelts can go on. We can arm uh, our no smoking as well. Emergency lights can get armed as well. All right. Wonderful. Uh, let's go down here. First things first, we need some lights up in this bitch. All right. Wonderful. Need some more lights up in here as well. Ganked Gamer, my man, coming in with a $10 donation. Thank you so much, Gank, for the support. Very much appreciated, my friend. He goes, love the upgrades. Well, thank you so much, man. Glad that you are enjoying them, dude. Because I do this all for you guys. I do this for you guys. So hope you guys uh, enjoy it. It should be really, really cool. Ganked Gamer, my man. Thank you so much, dude, for the support. Very much appreciated. All right, let's get all these lights on here. Make sure we're all turned on, ready to go. There we go. Wonderful. All right, let's head down to the FMC. First things first, we're going to go to initialization. Um, we're going to go KSFO over to Burbank. Love flying into Burbank, so it should be a lot of fun today. Let's go ahead and align our IRSs. Uh, our flight number today is Redwood, which is VRD1826. Uh, Wonderful. We'll throw that in there. Great. Let's go ahead and get our radios on here. Turn these guys up. Should be good right about there. And, of course, we are looking for... Uh, what is departure... Or, sorry, clearance. Clearances. I have it written down here on my chart. Clearance is 118.2. Let's go ahead and tune 118.2. Still got my radio stack out. That's the only thing that's left over from the SciTech. Uh, is the radio stack. Of course, I can't give that up. Uh, so, 118.2 is plugged in. Looks like we got somebody with a nice stuck mic already. All right, wonderful. Uh, let me go over to Vatsim. We can see that our Metar is 2 niner 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 So we got that set here on our left and right side. IRS is aligning, so that's good. Wonderful. 
uh, we can go ahead and jump here, and let's go ahead and grab our clearance guys into Burbank. San Francisco clearance, good morning. Redwood 1826 IFR to Burbank, please. Redwood 1826 San Francisco clearance, good morning. Clear to the Burbank airport, stick for departure, Cisco transition, and that is filed. Climb via the SID, except maintain 10,000. Departure frequency 135.1, squawk 4641. Alrighty, cleared into Burbank, sticks for departure, Cisco transition, then as filed. Climb via the SID, except maintain 10,000 feet. Departure is going to be on 35.14641 in the box, Redwood 1826. Redwood 1826, read back, correct. Right, read back is correct. Wonderful. Let's go ahead and throw this back over to Unicom. There we go. Um, all right, first things first, let's get 4641 in the box. 4641. All right, we'll get that taken care of. Wonderful. Let's go down to our flight plan here, guys. Uh, actually, you know what? Let's go ahead and worry about TOLUS. Let's go ahead and open up this menu here. Um, so let's go to aircraft config. If we head over here to uh, Simbrief, we can see that we need 4.6 on the fuel. 4.6, wonderful. Let's go ahead and quick refuel. Um, from 4.6, we need a zero fuel weight of 49.3. 49.3, damn, we are light today. 49.3, wonderful. All right, 51 passengers, that seems to be good. All right, let's go to apply these load settings, wonderful. All right, let's go over to flight plan. Let's go KSFO departures. We're going to plan departure at a zero 01 left today via the stick for departure in the Cisco transition. Usually we get eBay, but we're going Cisco today. We'll go ahead and insert that in. From Cisco, we're going to go direct to Red Hot, R-D-H-O-T. Never been to any of these waypoints before. Red Hot, wonderful. We'll throw that in there. From Red Hot, we're going to jump on the Roker 2 arrival. Uh, I got to check the winds here in Burbank. Kber, what are they going to give us here? Kber 150 at 9. 150 at 9. So let's... Uh, runway 15, do we want to do the Arnav? Arnav runway 15? I mean, I guess it makes sense. Arnav runway 15. Let me pull up my charts here for two seconds, guys. Let me go to Burbank. I just want to see if this is like a feasible arrival for us. Um, star. Actually, just go here. Let me see. Where's 15? Um, all right. Yeah, 15 will work. So let's do Arnav Alpha 15 via the Roker 2 arrival. Um, I don't think we're going to get a VIA, so we're going to go no VIA, and then of course we can look for Red Hot, which is right there. And we'll go ahead and insert that. It's going to be Red Hot, Honks, Purple, Excel, Tattoo, or U2, Travs, and then down, and Vectors in. Okay, good. Everything looks good there. Happy with that. Uh, so let's pop this guy open. We'll bring him over here. We'll go to Plugins. We'll open up our Tolis. I missed a donation there. Hold on. I missed two donations. Uh, who'd I miss here? That was Matt Design coming in with a dollar donation. He says, thanks for giving the Tolis another look, this time with a stick. Uh, when shall we see a 787 and drift plane you now have? <laughs> Matt Design, thank you so much, dude, for the dollar donation. Hopefully, I will, uh, I will get to the 787 soon. Hopefully soon. And thank you so much, man. I'm glad to be back in the Tolis. I've done a lot of practice flights with it. Not a lot. I've done five practice flights with it. Uh, it definitely behaves... Uh, it, it's not even the same plane. I'll just put it that way. It's not even the same plane with the stick. It actually has weight. It feels like I'm flying a real plane. So I guess we have to attribute the awful performance to the SciTech dead zones. Um, the SciTech is sitting over there. I honestly don't know if we're ever going to use the SciTech again. I may just stick with the stick. Even when we're flying Boeings, I don't give a shit. At least until the honeycomb comes out, we may stick with it. And then TJ Fly coming in with a dollar seventy donation says you missed a donation from Matt Design. We got it. We got it. Thank you so much, man. Absolutely amazing, guys. Um, all right, so let's go ahead and we'll pull this guy over here. We got him open here. Wonderful. Let's go over to our initialization page here. Uh, we're going to go over here. So our uh, zero fuel weight config, we're going 29.6, 29.6 slash 49.3. 
for a zero fuel weight. Wonderful. Uh, block fuel for today's flight is 4.6. Wonderful. Um, okay, if we go over here, and then we're going to go over to Simbrief here. We're going to take a look. Simbrief is telling me that our flex temp is it's saying 9. We're going to put 39. And we're looking for a cruise level today of uh, 350. Wonderful. All right, so all of that is plugged in and ready to go. Let's go to our perf page now, guys. We're going to go ahead and select a Flaps 2 departure today out of San Francisco. Um, so we're going to go Flaps 2 slash down 0 0.1 for our config. All right. Uh, we're going to be flexing up to 66 degrees today. Our V1 is 137. Our VR is 144. And our V2 is 146. Wonderful. With all of that, guys, our preflight is pretty much complete. Let's go ahead up here. We're just going to go to... Uh, uh, we'll leave it like that. Sure, why not? All right. Um, so that looks good. I'm happy with all of that. Uh, we're going to get 10,000 feet plugged in here because that was our climb and maintain. 10,000 feet. Altimeter is set. Wonderful. Let's head up top. Let's get our fuel pumps left side, center, and right side. We'll go ahead and master start switch on the APU. And let's go ahead and fire up that APU. Somebody else coming in with a donation here. Uh, Tristan coming in with a $1 donation. Tristan, thank you so much for supporting the channel, man. Very much appreciated, my friend. Tristan says, uh, you better hit that buttery smooth touchdown. New setup looks great, man. Tristan, thank you so much, dude, for supporting the channel. Very much appreciated, my friend. Huge no floaties too, dude. Thank you so much for supporting the channel, man. Um, YouTube literally is like, you can't be a sponsor if you're a rapist. <laughs> Uh-oh. Bill... <laughs> What did you do, Bill? All right, APU is on the up and up. Wonderful. Is Nightbot? Hold on, guys. I don't even think Nightbot's in here. No, he's not. What a bastard. All right, Nightbot's coming. We're good. We Gucci. Nightbot is on his way. Sorry I'm late, I fell asleep on some awesome new pillows. <laughs> Dan, what's going on, dude? Welcome, welcome. I can't wait to show you guys this new whole setup here. Look at this shit going on. Woo. So sick. Hey, say hi to Brazil. Bundos, what's going on, man? Hello from Brazil. How are you, dude? Guys, we missed an opportunity. What, what did I do? Nice hardware, dude. John, thank you so much, man. Appreciate it, my friend. Uh, go, please. Yeah, Rezzy, we're going, man. We're going, dude. We're flying on a network, man. It's a little bit, uh, a little bit more complicated than just getting in your plane and going. Uh, we're waiting for our IRS to align here. IRS is going to be aligned in less than one minute. All right, guys. Let's go ahead and get. Um, what do we need to get here? We need to get our. Stop playing with your stick. <laughs> Brazil loves you. Thank you so much, man. Um, hello, Cap. Long time. Philip Arthur, what's up, dude? Welcome aboard, man. Hope you are doing well. All right, let's get ground frequency plugged in here. 121.8. Our IRS are aligned, so we're looking good to go here. We'll get ground frequency plugged in over there. Looking good. All right, let's go to plugins. Better pushback. Better pushback. Start pushback. Ground to cockpit. Please show me where you want to go. And we would like to go right there. All right, let's enter that in. What? Enter that in. There we go. Uh, okay, thank you so much, man, for that subscription. Very much appreciated, my friend. Glad you're enjoying the content, sir. Welcome aboard. Rezzy, what's up, man? Welcome, welcome. Alan Augusta, how are you, dude? Welcome. Fox New. Fox Knox, what's up, dude? Welcome aboard, man. Uh, what kind of hardware do I use? Well, I mean, it's right on the screen for you, dude. <laughs> I don't think it can get any easier than that. And it's in the title, even at that as well. Um, all right, let's uh, go ahead up here. Let's get our APU bleed on. We'll go ahead and disconnect our external power. We're going to go bye-bye on that. The jetway can go bye-bye. Everybody better be on board. You guys all better be on board. Like the stick and rudder cam? Hell yeah, dude. It's awesome, man. Awesome, awesome. Um, Mo Gaming, what's up, dude? Happy okay. birthday, man. All Glad you could tune in on your birthday. Ready to connect. Ready to connect, guys. It should be a fun day of flying. I'm looking forward to this. When we fly the A350 again, hopefully soon, man. 
Definitely not on the Pilot Edge network, but we'll get to it when we're back on the Vatsim network. Same as the 787. Uh, I want to showcase that off to you guys as well. The Pilot Dylan, what's up, man? You get the black box aircraft. Well, thanks for flying the A320 on my last day of A320 flying. Uh, will you get the black box aircrafts? What's the black box aircrafts? I don't even know what that is. I'll have to fill me in, man. Can't wait for the MD-11. I agree, my friend. One day we'll get a 787 and A350 stream. Oh, boy. So One day when I'm ready for those inserted. views. <laughs> Which 787? We're going to be flying the uh, Magnite 787. I was uh, lucky enough to get somebody to uh, pass that over to me on the development team. Uh, I never got a departure code. Would that be 135.1? 776, affirmative. On the chart. Alright, let's go ahead and release our park break. Starting pushback, and you may start engines. The black box planes are P3D pay where are not very good Airbuses. Ah, okay, got you. Whoa there, Nelly. Alright, there we go, we're good. Alright, engine mode selected to the start position. And let's go ahead and fire up engine number two. Planets 1776. Long haul for 17k. No. Nope. Come back up. Probably not, man. Probably not. I'm not a fan of the long hauls, guys. There's plenty of streamers out there that do the long hauls. I, for one, am not one of the fans of them. I prefer, I much prefer doing shorter hops, getting two or three flights in on a stream. Because let's be real, man. Like, what's the most exciting part about flying is the takeoff and the landing, right? So the more takeoffs and more landings we can get in one stream, you know. Simple to me, in my opinion, what we should be doing. Alright guys, let's get this to TARA and we'll switch shit on so that he can see us. That is a good start on engine number two. It is on and stabilized. Let's go ahead and fire up engine number one. Hear those PTUs barking at us. Cap K319, long haul to London City, am I right? Hell no, we're not doing that again, man. You don't have P3D, Dylan, sorry, just know that they might have a good reputation. Oh, true. My favorite uh, planes flying in the mid flight strippers. <laughs> what fucking airline are you flying on, man? <laughs> I've been missing out this whole time. So, this question complete. Go is ahead and the, the new 787 being grown. developed actually I'm worth buying because it's got decent nine. sits and starts? Your Sector A350 is great. I'd get even enter a hold pattern with the damn thing. Uh, yeah, I mean, if, if you if you want to get the 787 for its system well, depth, three, three, no, <laughs> no, it's just Charlie. more of like a fun plane to fly, right? Bravo That's the one. thing with it. Alberto, the Concorde's in development, man, so hopefully one day soon, hopefully one day soon we can get that bad boy. I don't like how it resets everything here once you, like, do pushback and all that. All right, there we go. Disconnect. Say bye-bye. All right, let's go ahead and set our flaps position two for takeoff. Wonderful. Let's go ahead and arm our spoilers. Great. Nope, I didn't mean to do that. Don't pay attention to that. She's driving away. Oh, she's driving away. Got our beacon light on. Got our probe window heat on. APU can Thanks come off. Hand signal on the left. We'll see you next time, and have fun up there. Thank you. I will. All right, we got ground plugged in. Looking good. We get the Zebo 737 Max. Absolutely, man. Absolutely. All right, guys, let's go and get our nose light over to take taxi. Sorry, runway turn off lights can come on. Let's go and release our park brake. Can we have intersection Bravo? Increase those throttles here a little bit. Alaska 319, Roger, runway 8, uh, runway 8 at Bravo 2. So I love how you guys are actually going to be able to see exactly how I'm mimicking the stick and throttles and rudder pedals. Should be very cool. Alright, so we're going to come up here and we're going to let ground know that we are at holding point 5 alpha with the weather ready to taxi. San Francisco ground, good morning. Redwood 1826, holding point 5 alpha with the weather ready to taxi. Redwood 1826, San Francisco ground, runway 1 left, taxi via Alpha, Mike 1. Runway 1 left, taxi via Alpha, Mike 1 for Redwood 1826. 
All right, guys, there we go. We're good. CBR Rider, what's going on, dude? Welcome back, man. Downloading some more Othos for the U.S., Europe, and South America. Nice, dude. Hell yes. What kind of screen monitor uh, do you use? What kind of screen monitor do I use? Uh, for my simulator, I have a 43-inch wide uh, TV that I'm using. Oh, shit. Fergus Duffy, my man, coming in with the 10 euro donation. He goes, top man, great streams. Thank you, sir. Fergus, thank you so much, dude, for the 10 euro donation. Very, very much appreciated, my friend. Huge. No floaties to you, dude. Thank you so much for supporting the channel, man. Sincerely means a lot. Glad that you are enjoying the streams, dude. Absolutely awesome. We'll do our cabin check here. Everything looks good. We'll do our takeoff config as well. Looking good. Ecam memos, no blue, all green. Wonderful. Uh, let's go ahead and get uh, tower plugged in here. Tower's going to be on 2095. Let's go ahead and get that plugged in here. 20, or sorry, 20.5 for tower frequency. Wonderful. This is not mic one. Mic one should be right up here. There's alpha. Mic one is right up there. All right, good. Virgin America, no longer a thing. Alaska bought all the Redwood planes. What is the name of the side stick? It is the T16000M, my friend. The T16000M. And you'll see, if you just watch the mimicking of my rudder pedals, You'll see how very, very small the inputs need to be um, using this. Uh, damn, that sucks. I wonder why the frames are just going to absolute shit half the time now, though. I'll have to keep my eyes on that. Southwest 545, contact NorCal approach, 120.95. Let me know if the frames become an issue, guys. We may have to, uh, I may have to do some more research into that just to see what's going on with that. All right, uh, let's go ahead and we'll switch over to tower frequency here. San Francisco Tower, good morning, Redwood 1826, holding short, zero on left, mic one, ready for departure. Cody Knox, what's up, dude? Welcome back, man. Hope you're doing well. Uh, correction, Redwood 1826, San Francisco Tower, runway one left, cleared for takeoff. One left, third for takeoff, Redwood 1826. Southwest 545, NorCal approach. Sacramento altimeter, 200, 800, expect the visual approach. Correction, quick Size or big-ass screen? Uh, no. No. I'm thinking it has something to do with the overlay that we're running here in the background. I'm thinking it has something to do with that. But I'll keep my eye on it, guys. Don't worry. We will keep our eyes on it. Uh, so we need departure frequency here, 35.1. Let's go ahead and get that plugged into our second radio here. 35.1. Alright, great. Looking good. Go ahead and taxi ourselves onto the runway here. Jet Blue Guy, what's up, man? Welcome back, dude. Hope you're doing well. Alrighty, guys, here we are. Lined up, one left. Let's bring those throttles up to about 40%. All right, looks good. Flex set. Beautiful. Airspeed's on the rise. One hundred knots. V one. Rotate. Positive rate. Gears going up. Throttles down to the climb position. Tilt that nose down just a tad. Uh, Maxi, we're using them right now, dude. Check a look at the uh, bottom right of the screen, man. 
bottom right of the screen. Redwood 1826, contact departure. Departure, Redwood 1826. NorCal departure, good morning, Redwood 1826, 3,700, climbing via Redwood 1826, NorCal departure, radar contact, climbing maintain level 190. Up to 190, Redwood 1826. All right, guys, flaps up position one. Run up to 190. We'll get that plugged in, wonderful. All right, let's go flaps clean. Maintain 8,000 for traffic. Maintain 8,000 for traffic for 1826. Redwood 1826, traffic 11 o'clock, 3.5 miles southbound, oh. Gladys at 9,300, report side. Okay, firm, we see him on the TCAS, we'll keep our eyes out uh, for Redwood 1826. I don't know if we're going to be able to see him, to be honest with you. All right, I, uh, just looking at all of this right now, I can already tell you that this needs to change. So give me two seconds, guys, here. We're going to have to change the... Uh, Alaska 319, Phoenix Tower, runway 8, cleared for takeoff. All right, let's throw an autopilot here for now. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and restart this program. Just give me a second here, guys. It's going to disappear for a second. That's fine. Just let it do its thing. I'm going to run this. Okay, no, you're already running, so I need this. Yes. All right, uh, we're going to go with that. Let's go to play. How's that going to look? Yeah, that's fine. Uh, this, and this, and this, okay, good. Redwood 1826, climb and maintain, flight level 190. Flight level 190, Redwood 1826. All right, 190, that in, okay, good. All right, uh, give me a second here, guys, while I work on this real quick. There we go. Should be good. Uh, I'm going to go reheat pizza rolls real quick. Sounds good. Faded red. Can you do a cabin tour when uh, we are cruising altitude? Yep. Cup K, you look professional with those headsets. The mic is even better now. Nice, dude. Boone. Glad you're enjoying it, man. Glad it is going well, guys. How long is this flight? About 55 minutes, my friend. Uh, Julian Mundick, thank you so much, man, for that subscription. Very much appreciated, my friend. Glad you're enjoying the content, sir. Welcome aboard. All right. Let's get those sounds turned down. There we go, so we're not going deaf. Hey, Cap, any VFR in the stream in the future? Uh, VFR, yeah, there probably will be, man. 
that random guy 48 what's going on dude thank you so much for that subscription as well my friend very much appreciated glad you're enjoying the content sir Redwood Welcome 18 aboard. 26 contact oh, Oakland Center 127.45 2745 Redwood 18 26 Alaska 319 contact departure Milan Helenga thank you so much dude for the subscription as well very much appreciated my friend Glad you're enjoying 45, the content, sir. Welcome aboard. Turn on three four left approach. Sacramento altimeter two hundred eight nine. All right, let's get those seatbelts off here as well. And our landing lights can come off. My goodness me. Black there we go. Three nineteen. Uh, Phoenix departure radar contact. Climb and maintain flight level two zero zero. Call departure. Good morning, Redwood 18 26 1 5500 4 0 9 0. Boom in 26. What's going on, dude? Center climb and maintain level 350. 350. Redwood 1836. Uh, thank you so much, man, for that subscription as well, dude. Very, very much appreciated. Glad you're enjoying the content, sir. The Tolis says Rye Dog. Yes, sir. The Tolis, man. We got the new stick. We got to give it a good workout. We got the new stick. We better give it a good workout, right? Got to test it out properly here, guys. Cap Kayla, are you allowed to use the yoke because it's not Thrustmaster? Yeah, of course I can use it. Um, I just don't know if I will be using it. <laughs> uh, these Thrustmaster, it's just so much. Oh, it's just so better. It's amazing. My camera is different. Uh, no, it's not different. It's just usually that I'm turned this way towards you guys, which I can do now. Uh, the only difference is now that I have the yoke, I actually have like the uh, joystick and everything on my keyboard holder. And then my keyboard is put up here. So yeah. AJ Stellar, what's going on, dude? Welcome back. Of course I do, sir. Greetings from Poland once again. Igoris, what's up, man? Welcome, welcome. New chair? Nope, not new chair. Same chair. Uh, there's 19,000 feet. We can go standard left side and standard right side, of course. All right, let's get some tunes jamming here, guys. What airline are we flying? We're flying Redwood, Virgin America. Redwood. Jordan Morrison, what's going on, dude? Welcome back, man. Hope you are doing well, sir. Glad to have you here. Christopher Cock, what's going on, man? Thank you so much, dude. Glad you're enjoying it. Do you have the flare law turned on or off? Off, Cobalt Skies. I believe it's off. I don't like the new flare law, to be honest with you. Uh, where would it be in here? Use new flare law. I have it off. And I'm going to leave it off. I don't want to turn it on now, because I haven't been flying with it on. I don't want to confuse myself here. Is that the tallest? It is indeed, man. BA191 from Heathrow? Ooh, that's a long one, Chris. I don't know, man. It's a long flight. I don't know if I'm up for that one. Uh, this is the best thing to wake up to after a night of pouring on the sauce. I'm Blue Mopar, what's going on, dude? What kind of sauce were you into last night, man? I may get into the sauce tonight with some buddies. Going to have a barbecue after this. We'll see how she goes. Turn the Florence kit on? What? Closing VFR to North Practice Area with Echo. Uh, LeBron, what's up, man? Hey, what's up, dude? You said the mic is way better. Nice. Is it too loud, guys? Or what's going on? I can see that I'm, like, redlining it here a little bit. i try and uh, turn it down just a tad. There we go. That should be good. Is it possible you stream earlier? Uh, Bastian, not really, man. 2 p.m. is, like, I find it's the perfect time. That way I get in for my European viewers, and it's still early enough for the U.S. And Canadian viewers. Uh, trust me, man. There's a lot of thought process that went behind these 2 o'clock start times. So yeah. Southwest twenty three fifty five, Oakland Center, Roger.
Contact Albuquerque Center. Joystick, we're using the T16000M, my friend. T16000M. Alaska 319, contact Albuquerque Center. Can I get one for the boys? <laughs> you do the famous route of Brazil Air Bridge. That's amazing. What's the Air Bridge? I don't know about that one. When will your next stream be? I want to watch it as well. I actually want to watch them all. Julian, Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday, my friend. Monday, Wednesdays, and Saturdays, sir. Marcona Jake coming in with a five dollar donation. Thank you so much, Jake, for the support. Very, very much appreciated, my friend. Go ahead and take a look at that. Uh, he goes A320 or 319 for me to buy. I still got to go with the 320, dude. I still got to go with the 320. The 320 is one of my uh, easily one of the best planes I think I've ever flown. We're going to fly it again here today. Uh, still believe it's still one of the best planes that I've ever flown. Hands down. Fly 747? Yeah, we will, man. Adamar, what's going on, dude? Welcome aboard, man. Hope you are doing well. Hope you didn't get rid of the side tech. Nope, I did not, 12 cuts. You're sitting right over there, man. Hey, what's your favorite aircraft? Mine is 747, especially Pan Am and Northwest Airlines livery. Well, seven, do you do a 747 contact. someday? Yep, we Long do it all the time, man. We definitely will be. Uh, Cam Ken, it'll be 7, 8, or 9 p.m. for all those European viewers when you start your streams. Yeah. So that's what I mean, like 7 p.m. is okay, 8 p.m. is okay, 9, we're starting to get a little bit late, but uh, yeah. Too much going on on screen? What do you mean? Too much going on on screen. There's nothing. <laughs> the chat and then our live flight banner up top. Bro, can you go into why you stream on Twitch? I think it's interesting that you're killing it on YouTube. Congrats. Ram, thank you so much, man. I mean, you pretty much named it, dude. Like, it, it, Twitch is too saturated, man. It's too saturated. It's too hard to make yourself a name, uh, especially if you're not flying Microsoft Flight Simulator X over on Twitch. Um, November one. Seven, YouTube, seven, I find that six. I can reach a lot broader of a, of a audience. Uh, being that it's YouTube, everybody's on YouTube at least once or twice a day, right? So, I mean, there you go, man. The stream's gonna be short. Not really, Alan. Probably about three and a half hours. Three and a half to four hours. Cody John, what's going on, dude? Welcome aboard. This is our final day on the Pilot Edge Network, guys. So on Monday, we're going to be back in Europe on Monday. I know a lot of you will be pleased to hear about that. Flight Factory 350 is on sale for $35. Think it's worth picking up? I, I don't know, man. I don't know. If I were you, I'd personally just wait for V2 to come out, man. I don't think it's worth the trials and tribulations that it's going to give you, man. Uh, is this the first flight? Indeed it is, Cody John. Why is my explanation? I could only use rudder to turn on the ground. Is that normal? Uh, I mean, yeah. Most likely, unless you bind something to a uh, tiller wheel or something like that. Uh, 787. Yeah, Alan, we're going to fly a 787 soon, man. Love your stuff. It's awesome. Cap Canada. Jason, thank you so much, man. Glad you're enjoying it. Hey, Cap, what flavor are you using? And what kind of beer do I like? Um, I'm a Corona, man. I'm a light beer kind of guy, man. Anything... Beer, like, I don't like heavy beers. I don't like dark Southwest beers. 545, contact Capital Tower. You can only drink, like, one or two of them, and then it's done. Um, so, yeah, can we do a cabin tour? Yeah, we can do a cabin tour, man. Uh, you should have the Thrustmaster overlay only when flying by hand. I mean, now you're getting really picky, dude. <laughs> like, wait, just, okay, here you go, man. There, does that Southwest make you feel better? Are you happier tower, now? One, three, zero, five, Too much going on on the screen for you? <laughs> Come on, man. Uh, you're 250 subs away from 17K. Hell yeah, dude. We're on our way, man. Hey, Cap, we're doing a return flight from Henry Coanda back to Vancouver using Air Canada Boeing 777. Nice, dude. Hey, Cap, Canada, how are you? Hope you have a great flight. For me, no, I had problems in flight, and now I'm on the ground, but I soon leave. Nice, Francisco. Thanks for tuning in, man. Much appreciated. MGD's okay. It's not my favorite. Not the worst, though, that's for sure. The man for the job is live again. What is going on, dude? Uh, just tune in. How's the joystick and runners? Going well, Colin. Going well, dude. Don't forget that Monday is a brand new month for people to donate again. Yes, indeed it is, my friend. Next time, could you do London Heathrow to Los Angeles? Neither an Airbus A380 or an Airbus A350. And I would donate a lot of money because my mom won't let me. Sorry. No worries, Julian. No worries at all, man. We could maybe think about doing those. I'm not really one for, uh, for long haul, so, dude. Um, how do you get the banner off the top? It's called Fly Live, Aviation X Lover. You fly the MD-11 as soon as it gets released, man. As soon as it gets released, my friend. Hey, Ken, I've been subscribed to you for 15 years. Nice, Jacob. I haven't had a channel for 15 years, but sounds good. Probably mean 15 months. 
David, what's up, dude? Flight history, how are you, man? Crizzy, welcome aboard. Uh, Alex, how are you, man? Welcome aboard, dude. Salabona, glad to have you here. Um, is this the Tolis or the Flight Factor? Can't tell from the engine view. This is the Tolis A319, man. Love your content. Mark, thank you so much, man. Glad you're enjoying it, too. Had a careers day at school. Decided to go to the RAF and serve 12 years as a pilot. Then switch it over to commercial. Nice, Ross. That's awesome, dude. Kevin Kennedy, I've been here for a long time. Man, you're my favorite streamer for sure. A real Wilberg. Weiberg. Thank you so much, man. Glad you're enjoying the content, dude. Thanks for the kind words. Uh, Call of Duty channel. What's up, man? Welcome aboard, dude. Hope you are doing well. Super Cuber. How are you, man? Welcome back. Hello from Nova Scotia Cap, got a jump seat in a month ago in the A320 to Montreal was an experience. Oh yeah. That would be awesome. Sofa, very, very cool. Hey Cam from Morocco, could you please say hi to Ornia Hakari? Ornia Hakari, what's going on guys? Welcome aboard. You do another walk around? Yeah, we're gonna do one. MD11 is basically an A380. Uh, I wouldn't go that that far. I am 30 years old, Bastion. Uh, is this the first flight? Yes, it is. Trying to avoid the heavy winds. They are crazy. Damn, dude. Uh, where are we flying? We're flying to Burbank, guys. Burbank, California. All right, let's get some tunes jamming here. Where are my tunes? Tunes, good. Jamming. All right, sweet. All right, let's go for a little tour here, guys. All right, here we go. Inside the cabin of the beautiful Tolis A319. Love the cabin. It's modeled extremely well. I got to rock my uh, cabin, Canada cabin here again soon. to get loud here for a second guys my apologies guess who's in the bathroom I can only guess Bill if I had to guess Billy Boy. All right, guys, there we go. Cabin tour for you guys. Burbank is in SoCal. Telluride is in Colorado. Yes, you got it, man. You got it. He captured by the Flight Factor A320 or the Zebo 737. Well, the Zebo 737 is free. Just go ahead and pick up the Flight Factor, man. Where's Burbank and Telluride? Yeah, Julian, someone's got that. By the way, one stream you said you loved chocolate. You said you smoked weed. LOL, me too. Indeed, Jason. Indeed, man. Uh, Cap, what do you work on as a welder? I was a, a roll cage fabricator before I joined the United States Air Force. A blue Mopar. I, uh, right now I'm working for a buddy. We're building aluminum shelves and desks. So I'm doing a bunch of welding on aluminum. It's been interesting, man. It's definitely been interesting, that's for sure. Airbus or Boeing? Depends, man. Flight and fun. What's going on, dude? Congrats on 16K. Whoa, shit. Hell yeah, dude. We're almost at 17 now. Absolutely amazing. Thanks for tuning in, Flight and Fun. Glad to see you back, man. Have you ever been to Dusseldorf? Uh, I have, yes. I think we have, haven't we, guys? We've been to Dusseldorf. Did you hate the A319? Uh, yep, I was flying it with a yoke. Uh, I can tell you that it flies extremely different when we have the brand new side stick ready to go. Didn't notice it was free, yeah, man. When I get your pilot's license, extremely expensive in Canada, Jason. Extremely expensive, my friend. How's the weather at the destination? Looking good, man. Looking good. Not too bad, actually. We'll go ahead and update that again now here. Uh, 1509, 10 mile visibility, clear skies, 21 degrees. How could anyone complain with that, Matar, right there? Alaska 319, contact LA Center 133.55. If that was for me. Redwood 1826, contact Los Angeles Center 133.55. Have a good day. 3355, thanks for your We'll see you soon. Redwood 1826. Also on the T16000M, what do you think of it? Really liking it so far, Goosebump. Really liking it, my friend. Um, Los Angeles Center, good afternoon. Redwood 1826, checking in, flight level 350. Approaching. Alaska 319, 
Anonymous, what's going on, man? Thank you so much for that. Glad you're enjoying the content, Anonymous. Thank you so much for that subscription, man. Very, very much appreciated. My friend, thank you so much for that subscription. Glad you're enjoying the content, Anonymous. Thank you so much for that subscription, man. Very, very much appreciated, my friend. We're going to do another Kai Tak approach? Uh, most likely, yeah. I don't know when we'll do it, but uh, I would love to head back there, yeah. Uh, is this the Airbus A320 Ultimate of Flight Factor? No, sir. This is the Tolis A319. Tolis A319. Where's Burbank and Telluride? Burbank's in California. Telluride's in Colorado, my friend. Back from unsaid. No worries, man. Uh, Captain Kenner, remember, I'm Infinite Pilot, GBG Pilot. also remember, I uh, we went to Hong Kong. That was fun. Been awake for eight hours just to see you smoke and play that baseball game. Memories. Hell yeah, dude. Hell yeah. Someone needs to do a clip, a video of Cap's likes for the Tolis video and his Tolis rant the other day. I agree. Why not? Resi, thank you much, man. Glad you're enjoying the content, dude. Uh, Jordan, how are you, man? Hey, Cap, what's your opinion? Jet Blue or Spirit? Jet Blue. Just because I like to say Jet Blue. You do a CRJ with SkyWest Delta for us? Absolutely, man. We do that all the time. Uh, what is the hardest airport to land? Hardest airport to land? I don't know, man. Anything with high elevation, to be honest with you. So anything with super high elevation. I need to do a test here for a second. Give me a sec. I'm going to turn that off. November 912 November Bravo. Contact yeah. Cell Angelo Center 126.35. So the um Approaching. It's causing some uh causing some lag on OBS's and having the overlay up. We'll have to take a look at that. See if there's anything that we can do exactly about that. Umar Khan, thank you so much, dude, for the subscription. Much appreciated, my friend. Glad you're enjoying the content, sir. Welcome aboard. Bryce, we're going to go to Brussels, hopefully, man. Hopefully soon, dude. Uh, would you rather a C-Series or an E2-190? C-Series, all the way, man. All the way. Do you think a Lukla Airport is hard? Oh, yes, that would be a hard one. By the way, can I get a congrats? I now officially work for Boeing as a pilot. Cypher, awesome, dude. Congratulations. If you work for Boeing, though, you should probably spell their Boeing name properly, right? Right. Uh, do you think, uh, why have you never flown Turkish Airlines? We have plenty of times, Manchester United fan. We're also in North America, man, so we can't really fly all those European airliners, right? Makes sense. Um, can you fly helicopters? I have never flown a helicopter. Not really a fan, to be honest with you. Uh, hello, Cap Canada. I am from Poland. Alex Weiss, welcome aboard, dude, all the way from Poland. Hope you're doing well. Hey Cap, I'm going to see if I can fly next to you in a fighter jet. Alright, well we're on pilot edge, so I don't think you'll be able to do that. And one, they'll probably kick you off the network if you attempted to do that, but you know. Oh shit, it's Saturday, I forgot the stream. Julius, how dare you, my friend. Welcome back, dude. Hope you're doing well, Julius. The way you spot all these fake pilots out, it's mad. Well, I mean... I wasn't really, I wasn't really saying it was a fake pilot. It was just like you know, like if you work for Boeing, you think you'd spell Boeing correctly, right? Uh, American five, Aviator, what's going on, dude? Welcome aboard, man. Hope you're having an awesome Saturday, my friend. Uh, I'm flying with you from Akalaka, Montana. Points to see you can say flight uh, Akalaka, Akalaka. Oh boy. I watched uh, a single video of yours, Imtiaz. Hope you're enjoying it, man. Most of the Canadians hate Boeing since they imposed a 300% tax against Bombardier for pretending they are dumping. Yup. Uh, what airline are you fly today, Cap? We're flying Redwood, Virgin America, my friend. Virgin America. Just woke up. Oh boy. Redwood 1826. Descend via the Roker to arrival. Van Nuys Altimeter to 993. I don't send via the Roker to arrival. Van Nuys to 993. Redwood 1826. You want to chat because you're going full screen? No worries, man. Cole West, what's up, dude? Welcome aboard, man. Hope you are doing well, sir. November to November Bravo. Advise when you have a blind weather and approach request. Almost got my phone taken from a teacher when I was watching your streams Monday. Uh-oh, Alan. 
That's not good, man. Tell her it's for learning purposes. Don't worry. <laughs> Tell her it's learning purposes. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah, I'm a Delta 747 800 pilot. Nice. We shall not talk about my phone, sir. What? Cap, what airline do you think has the coolest call sign? Southwest or JetBlue? I love saying JetBlue, man. Has this aircraft lost its virginity, though? I have no clue, man. You'll have to have a one on one with him about it. Or her. Hey, Cap, have you ever heard about the new Vatson voice codec? I have heard about it. Looks pretty cool, man. Looking forward to it. The Ford Turbine aircraft is better than this. Uh, scrap in this video is boring. Cigarettes, even for the lungs, are bad. <laughs> Fuck, man. It's just a never ending battle on YouTube, man. You miss one person's comment and it's just, your stream's horrible, this is so boring, you're smoking. <laughs> miss one comment, all fucking hell breaks loose. Oh boy. Uh, Red Nose. Red Nose is good too, yeah, man. And even how to set up Vatsim. What do you mean how to set up Vatsim? Pretty easy, man. You like the water ski call sign? Who's water ski? By the way, it is weed legal in Canada, October 17th, my friend. Went to the bathroom. You can guess who lost her virginity? Jesus Christ, Bill. <laughs> Can you do a JetBlue A320, please? Yeah, we'll do one soon, man. We will do one soon. You small planet airlines, Polska, Lubiz, Samos, small plane. Huh, interesting. Cap, I went to our first couple of live streams and I realized that you've come a long way and you've improved so much. Keep it up, buddy. P.S. Why do you wear the shades no, now? You did it before. Nicholas, more of a show, man. It's more of a show, dude. I, I, you know, like, just trying to have fun with this, man. I don't take myself too serious. I'm not a real pilot nor do I claim to be a real pilot. And uh, for me, man, this is just a way of letting people know that we're here to have fun, dude. We're not, uh, we're not taking ourselves serious here. All right, 6,000 feet is going to be the bottom of our star. So let's get 6,000 feet plugged in. Looking like we're about, what, 10 miles from our top of descent? Yeah, just under 10 miles from our top of descent. Cap, do an eye slash leg reveal. Oh, Jesus. Boobie's here. What's going on, Boobie? Welcome back, man. Hope you are doing well, sir. Trans States Airlines. Interesting. The planes smoke weed? I have no clue, man. I have no clue. How many minutes until you land? Probably about 20 minutes, man. That's why I love your videos, Canada. Hell yeah, Mike. Hell yeah, dude. Please just say hi to me, George Barhoosh. What's going on, dude? Welcome aboard, man. Uh, can I do a loop in this plane? Uh, we probably could. Will we? No. Um, long time no see, Cap Canada. Cap Canada, so if Thrustmaster sponsors you, where's the Thrustmaster branding on your overlay? I don't have to have that. We don't need to have that on. Do you not see the overlay in the bottom right of the screen, my friend? The stuff that we've worked so hard on? Yes. Mike and Sandy, thank you so much for that subscription. Very much appreciated, my friends. Glad you're enjoying the content. Welcome aboard, guys. Um, Captain Canada, are these virtual flight controls on screen now new or am I stupid? No, they're new, Julius. They are new, my friend. Uh, respect. Love your stream, suit. Nicholas, thank you so much, man, for support. Much appreciated. Much appreciated, man. It's educational fun, exactly. Although I don't like what this overlay is doing to the frames here in OBS. Like, OBS is not happy with having that overlay in the bottom right corner, like at all, it is very mad at me right now. Speaking of which, let me see if I can go outside quickly. Approaching. Tom Bristison, thank you so much, dude, for that subscription. Very much appreciated, my friend. Glad you're enjoying the content, sir. Welcome aboard. Watch, we're gonna jump in here. Frames are gonna jump to shit again, yep. Yeah, so something about that overlay and the clouds are not playing nicely with one another. Reed Adams, thank you so much, dude, for that subscription as well. Very much appreciated, my friend. Glad you're enjoying the content, sir. Welcome aboard. Yeah, something with the overlay. They're not uh, They're not playing nicely, those clouds not overlay. How to weed lollipop. Um, holy shit, I'm missing everything. Had no THC in it, damn. Make sure you make a smooth landing with the A319. Just get to that 200 from Booby again. <laughs> You're my favorite YouTuber, Imtiaz. Thank you so much, man. My real life pilot, I am not, dude. Should my second pair of aircraft be the 777? Fox Knox, depends, man. Depends what you're in the mood for, dude. 
Hello, Captain. Even though I don't take this serious, we still love your live streams. Peace. Um, well, no, I do take this extremely serious, man. I'm just, I'm not a pilot. Why didn't you go into descent mode? Thanks for that plane. Now it's gonna fucking barrel to the ground. Pretty sure we pushed that button. Let's just go full spoilers here. Yeah, like, fuck, I can't move the camera with the overlay. The overlay is just pissing it off. Uh, I can... I can't tell that stuff is Thrustmaster by looking at it. You'd never know unless you mentioned it. Amer why you gotta be in here starting shit, man? Like, why? Like, just shut up and enjoy the fucking stream, man. How's the headphones for blocking outside room noise? They're crazy, Dan. Much better than my HyperX's, that's for sure. I can't hear anything when we go outside. Um... As soon as I come back, it's him being pissed off with it. What? With what? No, no, I'm pissed off with the overlay right now. The, uh, the overlay doesn't... Like, I have to, like, go outside. Um... And then come back in and, like, the frames are fine. But, like, anytime I move inside here, it's just crazy. Uh, Captain Cannon, how's the toll so far? Doing well, Aviation Tech? Can't complain, man. Doing well. Like, hold on. I want to see if I take these off the screen. Does that instantly just bump it up again? It does. Okay. So, something's something's having issues. OBS is having issues with that overlay. Doesn't like it. It's not happy with it. Uh, does your headset make your ears sweaty? No, it doesn't actually. It's got like a really nice, uh, really nice like memory foam on it. They're pretty nice, man. Pretty nice. Can we see Daisy? Uh, she's sleeping somewhere. She's sleeping somewhere. Copy check controlling on VATSIM or PE? Oh, uh, I can't control on PE. I thought about doing the whole VATSIM thing, but you never know. Never forget the crashes, man. Never forget them. I mean, you don't need an overlay while on cruise, right? Nah, very true. Very true. But I like to keep it up anyways. Show what they've given us. You're insane, dude. It would be nice if you fly to Brazilian Bridge, Sao Paulo to Rio de Janeiro. Very nice approach. All right, Victor, I'll take a look at that, man. I will take a look at that, dude. How do the pedals feel, Cap? They are very sensitive. Uh, a little bit more sensitive than what I am used to with the Cytex, but that doesn't mean they're not good, man. Set the overlay to use the lower resolutions before shrinking it down. Yeah, Dan, I'm using the lowest. That's why I pulled it off screen for a second. I'm using the lowest one possible. So, uh, yeah, I'm not quite sure if we'll be able to continue using that overlay. It seems like it's causing all kinds of issues for OBS in the background here. Something about using a green screen and then the whole capture, it just doesn't like it very much. Does the throttle move automatic? Uh, no, I can move it back and forth. Hey, Cap, how are you, bro? Mayor, what's going on, man? Welcome aboard, dude. Hope you are having a wonderful Saturday afternoon. Is this the tallest? Indeed it is the tallest, man. Indeed it is. Ophi, don't say any of that in here, man, please. Keep it respectable, dude. Uh, hey, Cap, how do you see the jet stream winds on Simbrief when you're doing a flight plan? Uh, Q50, it'll show you what the cruise winds are in the bottom right. Basically where it shows you where your... Um, where it shows where your cost index and all that stuff is. It'll pop up on there, dude. Cap, can I try turning off the green screen part of OBS, maybe? Well, no, I can't, Dan, because then it's, like, no, I mean my camera, like, green screen. It just, it doesn't like it. Anytime I try and add something, it's just not happy. It only seems to be when we're flying into the clouds, though. So once we're, like, away from the clouds, we should be good. Um, Colin, we're not going to be flying it today, dude. We're probably going to be flying it on Monday, man. Monday, we're going to take it out for a romp. Uh, by the way, you messed up the flight numbers again. We're up to 1824. Really? Okay, it's because I flew 24 the other night while practicing, so I figured we were on 26. We're here for nine hours. Nice. MK Gaming. What's up, dude? Why are you going... Uh, nope, that's not where we're going. Gemini Jets, what's going on, dude? Welcome back, man. Hope you are doing well. Your merch is awesome. Thank you, Gemini Jets. Glad you're enjoying it, dude. Kaparowski, we can't unfortunately show the... Um, I can't show you everything because we're flying on the network right now, man. So unfortunately, I can't open up my screens for you. 
Uh, two niner niner four on the altimeter here, guys. Approaching. Here we go. Good. Approaching active bush. Thank you so much for that subscription, man. Very much appreciated, my friend. Glad you're enjoying the content, sir. Welcome aboard. Here you do a flight from KJFK to SFO. Nice. That's a long one, dude. How's the joystick going well so far, man? No complaints for me so far. What's your favorite livery for the A320? Uh, I don't know, man. That's a good question. I don't know. I do not know. We're going to fly United next on the A320, though. Cap, where are we? We are just outside Burbank, California, my friend. I unsubbed because I got scammed. My sub didn't pop up. Rob Game, it's because you have... Uh, 26, contact circle approach, 135, 134.2. 34.2 for Redwood, 1826. SoCal approach, good morning, Redwood, 18 to 26, 1, 5,000 feet descending via the rocker, too. Redwood, 18 26, SoCal approach, normal altimeter 2992, advise when you have water. After Mikey, Korea left runway 8 approach. All right, we have the current weather on board. And actually, can we uh, take the Arnav runway 15 today? That'd be much appreciated for Redwood 1826. Redwood 1826, expect that. All right, we'll expect the Arnav 15. Thanks, Redwood 1826. And we have the weather. Okay. You tried P3D or FSX? I have played FSX. Number yep. Three, four, nine, what bitrate am I streaming on? Uh, 13,000. Red 9 uh, Sierra Bravo, Bravo 1826. Maintain 4,000. You're in Spain. It is Saturday. Eight, yes, four, sir. Two, clock five, seven, My character died of hypothermia at 45,000 feet in a 787. That's weird. No dislikes? Oh, boy. Don't say that out loud, Robin. The dislikes start coming. Uh, the rudder pedals have broken through the floor. Impressively strong floor. <laughs> right? Oh, we're good. Wait, Tolis again? You got it, Jack. We got a new flight Number stick, nine, man, so we're giving the Tolis a try again. Copy on the I-5C. Alright, what's the uh, what's the deal here with this flight plan? Redwood 1826, again, seem to find the RNF 15 chart. Are you looking for the RNF Alpha approach? Yeah, the RNF Alpha approach, thanks for uh, Redwood 1826. Redwood 1826, Roger. Try the four stacks visual. That would probably work. Number one, zero, my tango, Fox Tower, and we do focus for takeoff. Redwood 1826, uh, clear direct Vasco, cross Vasco at above 6,000, clear RNF Alpha approach, circle runway 15. Alrighty, can you repeat that uh, waypoint again for Redwood 1826, just to confirm we have it in the FMC? Redwood 1826, that's uh, Vasco, Victor Alpha, Zulu Charlie, uniform. All right, we don't seem to have that in our flight plan, so at this point, you know what, if we could just take the four stacks visual for runway 15, that would uh, work as well for Redwood 1826. Redwood 1826, uh, turn one setting 090, descend and maintain 8000, back there for four stacks visual approach. 
Left turn is 0, 09 or 0 down to 8,000 for Redwood 1826. Alright, that works. We're just going to do the four stacks visual. Why not? Live in Canada? Indeed I do, man. Indeed I do. November 912, November Bravo, Alpha Constellation received quantity, far frequency change approved. Burbank is so cool. I agree, man. I love landing in Burbank. It's always fun, man. Uh, what bit rate am I streaming on? 13,000, man. 13,000. KBS. 13,000. Alright, guys. Let's turn our sounds back up here for you guys. On this arrival. Damn, dude, Ortho is just so beautiful. Were you vaping on a plane? I think the FFA might get mad. Ah. Uh, heading one zero zero, descend and maintain five thousand. One zero zero on the heading and down to five thousand for a Redwood. Is this PMDG? What? Nope. Airbus A319 by Tolis. Hey dude, I love all your streams and vids. Keep it going. Good flight. Andy, thank you so much, mate. Glad you're enjoying them. Isn't Telluride that mountain city in Colorado? It is, Julius. It is indeed, my friend. Hey, man, I went to Istanbul Air Show today. I saw very nice planes and jets. Very cool, Ahmed. Very, very cool, man. Alaska 319, contact with Lake Center, 135.77. Have a good flight. All right. I'm going to get the four stacks visual up here on my charts. Alaska 319, contact with Lake, 135.77 for Alaska 319. Redwood 1826, uh, Mountain Out, 12 o'clock and 7 miles, report inside. Affirm, we got insight for uh, Redwood 1826. Redwood 1826, cleared 4 stacks visual, runway 15 approach. I cleared 4 stacks visual, runway 15, United 82 here, sorry, Redwood 1826. November 0, Mark 10, departure 126.126, 10. Alright, sweet. I will go okay, ahead okay. and take control of the aircraft now. Now that we got the stick, we might as well, right? I'm going to bring that nose up just a little bit here. We need to lose some of that speed. I'm going to throw the flaps out. Actually, you know what? Let's go down here. Let's go to perf page, activate approach, confirm. Okay, bring this down, 217. Good. I need to blow out one set of flaps here. All right, we need to turn a little bit to the left. All right, let's get flaps one. Good. Let's get 190 plugged in here. November 349 Alpha Fox, Urban Ground. Say equipment traffic. 2,500. Thank you. All right, guys, let's go gear down. November 9 Alpha Fox, Urban Ground. Thanks, Julia. Bravo. 2,000. All right, flaps two. All right, so we need to be at 4,000 feet for up here. Make sure we got the runway in sight. Should be right over there. There it is, right there. Okay, good. Never done this approach before, guys. 2,500. 2,500. Gonna maintain 170 here. Redwood Get your landing rates ready. Yes, everybody get your landing rates in. I just found traffic 11 o'clock, 5 miles southbound. Altitude indicates 5,500.
Alright, we need to be at 3,000 feet here before we make our turn. Let's tilt that nose down a little bit. Let's get our final approach speed plugged in here. Arm our speed brakes. We'll go flaps three. So that action on the nose there. What a beautiful approach. Fuck, we're doing this one way more now. All right, let's go flaps full. Let's go up top here, make sure our nose lights are on. Runway turnoffs can come off here as well. Or sorry, on, and our wing lights can come on. It's going to give us tower. Hopefully I can get this all set up here. Tower's on 18.7, so let's get that plugged in now so we're not all worrying about that when we're making turns. 18.7 is plugged in. So we need 3,000 feet before we start making this turn. It looks like we're just going to hit it. 3,000 feet, and then we're going to make a right turn here. Should see the four stacks over to our right. I don't know if they're modeled in this scenery. Um... I don't see them. It's okay. Approaching. All right, there's 3,000 feet. Wonderful. Sorry, guys, for everybody who's approaching right now. I got my charts up on my second monitor. Got to make sure we fly this approach properly here. All right, you guys, landing checklist gears down three green. Flaps are full. Spoilers are armed. Auto brake is set. Position one. Cabin crew has been advised. There's 3,000 feet. Let's start making that right turn slowly but surely. Start tilting the plane over to the right. And come out of that climb okay, just a little bit. 118.7. 118.7, Redwood 18.26. Almost said United again. <laughs> Alright, we turned in way too much on that one. Burbank Tower, good afternoon, Redwood 18.26 on the visual runway 15. Redwood 1826, Burbank Tower, good afternoon, runway 15, clear to land, wind 130 at 8. Approaching. Runway 15, clear to land, United 18, sorry, Approaching. Approaching. We'll get to all of those here in a second, guys. One Checked on the thousand feet. There's our runway, one way, one five. All right, there we go. Perfectly on track. What are you showing me here? Two. Red, one white. Okay, good. You know what? We're going to set our auto brake here to... Ah, no. We're nice and light. We should be okay. Alrighty, hopefully you guys got all your landing rates in now. Don't count on a butter. Not yet. Burbank Tower, November 349, 
November 349 on the Fox, the Burbank Tower, hope to have a runway 15. Traffic on the two mile final. Roger, waiting on the traffic on the two, nine, two, uh, two mile final. Uh, can you just confirm our departure frequency terrain, is 135.2? Terrain, terrain. Terrain, terrain. November 9, Alpha Fox, at 950, departure 134.2, 34.20. 134.20. November 10, my pain, go contact Los Angeles Center, 134.65. 400. 100 above. 300. 100 above. November 10, my pain, go Los Angeles Center, Tiger Delta. Zonia, 8, 7. 100. 50. 40. 30. Retard. Retard. 10. Alright, guys, open those reversers. Hold that nose. That nose down gently. There's our reversers. Full reverse. Line up and wait. Line up and wait. Runway 15. Three four nine alpha. And through the decel over to manual braking. Stole those reversers. All righty, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Burbank. Runway 1826. Turn left into the gate. Have a good day. Left to the gate. Have yourself a wonderful day. We'll see you soon. Redwood 1826. Alright guys, let's go ahead and get ourselves over here to the left. Uh, I don't know where the hell we're going to park. Let's park beside that RJ. How about that? Turn ourselves back right over here. November 9, Alpha Fox, left runway 15, clear for takeoff, wind 1308. Runway 15, clear for takeoff, 349 Alpha Fox. Alrighty, sweet. Bring that up here as close as we can. Should be good right about there. Alright, let's go ahead and get our park brake on. With Mike. Clean up our flaps, bring those spoilers back up and disarm and as well. From the uh, APU hangar. can go on. Landing lights, taxi lights, strobe lights, probe window heat, wind lights. Alrighty, there we have it guys. What a beautiful approach. I would say that went down extremely well. What do you guys think? Number BB Bow, it's coming in 157. Hell yeah, dude. Miguel Tavares, 157 as well. And Ben Bow, 158. Well done, guys. Well done. Hope you guys all enjoyed that. That was uh, a beautiful don't pull a taxiway landing. <laughs> never. Never, never. What is this T60,000 MCAP Canada? Uh, it is the joystick that I'm using, man. Bottom right hand corner of the screen. You kind of see it. All right, sweet. You guys, 158. Uh, nice, dude. Uh, nice, landing. nice, nice. All right, guys, let's go ahead and disconnect from the Pilot Edge network. Uh, is our APU on and available? It is. We'll go ahead and grab that. Sorry, it is not on and available yet. Now it is on and available. It's cut engine number one and engine number two. Ladies and gentlemen behalf of the entire flight crew, we'd like to welcome you to Burbank, California. Gum God 023, what's up, dude? Welcome, welcome. Do I like the Tolis now? I mean, listen, it flies a hell of a lot better using this joystick. That I can confirm with you. Flies a hell of a lot better using this. All right, so let's go ahead and we disconnected from Pilot Edge, right? Indeed we did. All right, let's open up our Tolis screen here. I'm just going to bump the engine volume down so we can go ahead and take a look at this replay let's go ahead and back this sucker up here guys wonderful it should be a perfect spot for us to watch the replay looking good we'll back this up here get past our displaced threshold Approaching. right about there should be good let's play that out tom illing thank you so much man for that subscription very much appreciated my friend glad you're enjoying the content sir welcome aboard nice landing cap thank you so much man uh which k burr scenery is this it is the fuck i always forget his name man uh, GP, GPG 5000 or 3000 or 1000 or something? I don't know. Timothy Harris, what's going on, dude? Thanks for tuning in. Much appreciated. 
Are you ending your stream? Nope, that was the first flight of the day, man. We're gonna have another flight coming up here. Joe C, nice, dude. Very nice. Miami Vice. Oh, that was beauty. That was a beauty. What I don't like is it's taken forever for the reverse thrust to open. But uh, that's okay. Still a beauty of a landing. How's the toys? Doing well, man. Buttered mitt toast. Iced steak. Thank you so much, dude, for that subscription. Very much appreciated, my friend. Glad you're enjoying the content, sir. Welcome aboard. Well, any rate, plug-in to use, and where can you get it? Uh, you can get it. There it is right there. Nightbot just banned it for you, man. Uh, Subcap. Oh, my God. Beautiful landing. It was indeed, man. Was indeed. Can you fly the Magnite 787? Yep, we're gonna fly it here shortly, man. Not today, but uh, in the next, uh, probably in the, within the next month, we'll definitely give it a go, man. Look at that, almost right on the marks. We're gonna take it though. Beautiful landing. Through the D cell. Hell yes. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. All right, guys, we're going to throw it to the Be Right Back screen. Going to restart the sim, jump in our A320 by Flight Factor, and I will see you guys in about five minutes.
connected to pilot edge. What's up guys? Welcome back. Here we are. Let's give it a second's wait for X-Plane to actually load itself in here. Or sorry, OBS to realize that X-Plane is indeed running in the background. There we have it. Hello United A320. Looking wonderful in our beautiful old school United livery. Oh my, oh my, is that beautiful. Loving it. Alright guys, first things first. Let's go ahead and jump inside the pit of the beautiful Flight Factor A320. First thing we're going to do is head up top. Let's go ahead and grab our ground power. And we're going to grab battery one and two. Uh, we're going to flip our deers up here over to the nav. There we go. Wonderful. Looking good. Nav and logo light can come on. Seatbelt lights can come on. No smoking can come on. Emergency lights can get armed as well. All right. Wonderful. Looking good. Uh, first things first. Let's go pay some attention to our electronic flight bag here. Fuel on today's flight, according to Simbrief, we need 6,900 kilos of fuel. Not 59, 6,900. 6,900 kgs of fuel. Let's go ahead and set that. Let's go to our perf data here. Showing me a zero fuel weight of 61. We need a zero fuel weight of 52. So we'll go back over to services. Go to passengers. Let's go ahead and take two-thirds load. Set that. What are we looking at here? 57. So we need to remove about 5,000. Let's go over to cargo here. Uh, let's bump this down to 3,400, and we'll go ahead and set that. Then we'll go back over to our perf data, 52.1, so we need to add about 300 pounds. So we'll bump this up to 3,700 pounds. We'll set that. Wonderful. Now we go over to perf data, 52.4. Good, close enough. You know what? Here, just to make everybody happy, we'll set up to 3,800. There we go. Should be 52.5. Wonderful. Good. Happy with all of that. Let's go down to our FMC. We're going to go to initialization. We're going from Burbank, Kaber, over to Tellerud, which is going to be KTEX. Haven't flown in there very often. Should be a lot of fun. Go ahead and return. Let's go to IRS Align. Confirm Align. Wonderful. Flight number today, we are United 1828. All right. Everything looks good there. Happy with all of that. Wonderful. Let's go ahead and jump up top here. We're going to go back to our... Uh, yes, enjoy the last flight on the Pilot Edge Network for a couple months. You are correct, Aviation Tech. Good call on that, man. All right, let's tune to Burbank Clearance, which is going to be on 118.0. Let's go ahead and tune that in here, 118.0. We'll punch that into there. Wonderful. And let's go and grab our clearance. Burbank Clearance, good afternoon. United 1828 IFR to Telluride, please. United 1828, Berman Colonel, good afternoon. I have a slight amendment at the end of your route. Advise when ready. We are ready to go, United 1828. United 1828, clear to uh, Telluride Airport, Vera to departure, baggage transition, then as filed, except after that creek, change route to read Victor 68, cone, direct, maintain 4000, departure frequency 134.2. Quack 4376. Alrighty, cleared into Telluride via the Vera 2 departure, Daggett transition, uh, then as filed, except we will jump on the Victor 68 airway direct to Cone, direct. Climb maintain 4,000 feet, departures on 34.2, 4376. And can I just confirm the spelling with you of Cone, please, for United 1828? 
United Agent 28 Konzo, the Echo Tango Lima. Echo Tango Lima. Echo Tango Lima. Wonderful. So, uh, Victor 68, direct to Cones. Thanks for United 1828. United 1828, feedback correct. Okay, perfect. So let's go down to our flight plan here. We are going to go to initialization. We'll flip that over here. We'll do weight request. She was 52.5 with a block fuel of 6.8. Wonderful. Let's go to flight plan. Burbank departures. We're going to plan departure out of runway 15 via the Vera 2 departure with the Daggett transition. Insert that. Wonderful. Uh, it's going to be Seachum, Chemo, Daggett. All right. From Daggett, he wants us to jump to an airway. So we're going to be jumping to Victor 68. Victor 68. All right. And we're taking... November 1, zero Mike Tango, needles Altimira to 983. Why won't Victor 68 go? Waypoint mismatch. Um, okay. Return, return from Daggett. Return. Victor 68. Very clear. So you have a second for uh, United 1828. United 1828, go ahead. Victor 68. I'm getting a mismatch uh, airway jumping on Victor 68 from Daggett. Would that be correct? United 1828, negative. That's Daggett. Then it's filed except after Duff Creek. That's Delta Victor Charlie. It's going to be Victor 68 to count. Got you. Okay. So after Delta Victor Charlie. It's going to be Victor 68, direct to Cone. Wonderful. 1828, thanks. Okay. So after Daggett, it's going to be to the Las Vegas so VOR. To the Tango, like to pick up Wonderful. Insert that. Lima. From Vegas, we're going to take it to DVC. DVC. All right. Insert that. From DVC, we're going to jump on the airway. Victor 68. That makes sense. All right. Victor 68. The there we go. Tango, tango. We're taking that to ETL. ETL. All right. Zero. Flight plan. Insert We're that. Okay. Wonderful. Then and then from files. ETL, we're going to jump to our rivals here. Uh, we're Except obviously going to plan the localizer departure. runway 9. Uh, we're just going to go to flight plan and insert. Six, All right. One, Let's go six. ahead and delete that. There we go. All right, sweet. Everything looks good. I'm happy with all of that. Wonderful. All right, sweet. Burbank, um, so that's good. We're going to switch over to Unicom frequency now. We don't need to hear all that. Um, all right, sweet. Back over to Simbrief here. Simbrief is telling me that we need... Where are you, Simbrief? There you are. Cost index of 31. Looking for a cruise level of 370 today. Wonderful. If we go over here, everything should be into the green very shortly. There we go, into the green. There's our perf page. We'll pop that open. Head over to our e-bag. All righty. Flaps are going to be set 2 slash up 1.7. Wonderful. We're going to be flexing up to 45 degrees today. We have a VR speed of 118, V2 of 122. Let's put our V1 as 116. Wonderful. Looks good. Happy with that. We'll close that out. Wonderful. Ready to go. Got 6.9 in there. Perfect. Let's go to our services. We're going to go ahead and remove, remove passengers. We're going to go ahead and remove him as well. Fuel truck can get removed as well. Supply, we're going to leave our ground power unit on. Let's head up top. Fuel pumps left side, fuel pumps right side, fuel pumps, sorry, center and then right side. Let's go APU master start switch. There's the bus transfer over. Looking good. Let's go ahead and fire up our APU auxiliary power unit. So we're going to be climbing 4,000 feet today. Wonderful. Get that in there. I'm going to pop you into the climb speeds. All right, I'm going to take a look at the charts here, guys, because I need to familiarize myself with the Vera 2 Arnav departure. So the Vera 2 Arnav departure is going to be off of a runway... All right, we fucked this up last time. So runway 15, standard or lower than standard if authorized with a minimum climb of 340 per nautical miles to 2,100 feet. All right, um, so... It's looking here, off departure, we want to turn to a 210 heading. 
Um, climb right turn to 2 1 here or assign by ATC, top altitude 13,000 feet. All right. So he's got us at 4,000 feet, so we're going to climb, make a right turn to 2 1 0. All right, we're good. We're good. We got everything in there. All right, APU is on and available. Let's go ahead and grab our APU bleed. Well, wonderful. Let's go ahead and disconnect our external power. There's the bus transfer over. We'll go ahead and close that guy there. Wonderful. Let's go ahead and go to plugins. We're going to go to better pushback. Let's go ahead and start Proud pushback. Of cockpit. Please show me where you want to go. Um, and I'm guessing just because of how this is going to go, we're going to need a push on to... All right, I'm not ready for that. Let me go to taxi here. What are we going to be pushing back onto? Uh, it looks like we're going to push back onto. I don't even know. Uh, I don't even know what that would be. What the hell would that be? Charts don't even show it. Like, that's the no movement. I guess we could push back right here and stay within the no movement and call them here. Holding short of runway 26, I guess. Yeah, all right, let's do that. All right, plugins, better push back. Start push back. Cockpit, please show me where you want to go. Keep the push back nice and tight, right about there. We're staying within the lines. Oops, enter, not zero. Ground to cockpit. Toe is driving up. All right, good. Nine or four on the altimeter here. Okay, we're looking good here, guys. My apologies if I missed anything in chat. Have you checked the Metar at KTEX? I have not. Why? Uh-oh. This scares me. Do I even want to see it? KTEX. Uh, 2608 gusting 21. Oh, boy. <laughs> GG. <laughs> oh, fuck. I don't, I don't even think they have a circle to land either. At uh, Yeah, they definitely don't have a circle to land there. I don't know. This will be sketchy. This will be a sketchy one. All right, so we need okay. Burbank ground plugged in on 21.8. Let's go ahead and get, uh, or sorry, no, Burbank ground's on 23.9. 23.9. Wonderful, we'll throw that in there. Clear to land, bound 9055. Better pushbacks doing his thing, connecting us. Enjoy that, LOL, no go-arounds, it's a mountain. No, you can go around, you just have to be super fucking careful with this go-around, my goodness me. Explain what's going on, dude, welcome, welcome. Glad you enjoyed it, dude. Um, did you turn off the overlay at cruise and back on and landing? No, we've been running it the, uh, the whole time. Um, all right, we're ready to go, let's release our park brake. Starting pushback. And you may start engines. Starting pushback, we may start engines. One thing that I need to do before we do our engine start, we need to get 4376 in the box. We'll turn that on. T-A-R-A. -A. Wonderful. Engine mode selector to the start position. Let's go ahead and fire up engine number two. Approaching. Cap, how long will the flight be? Uh, just shy of an hour and a half. It's a pretty long flight. This one's a longer one. One of the longer ones that we do, that's for sure. Approaching. Uh, CT Super, as soon as we get a proper A380, Approaching. dude, I'll fly the hell three, out of it, man. Three. David one, Van one, one, Gran, one, thank you so much, dude, for the subscription. Much appreciated, my friend. Glad you're enjoying the content, sir. Welcome aboard. All right, this looks like a good start on engine number two. Uh, wait for it to stabilize. Five, final second. Available and wait for that available to go away, and then we're good. Well, I'm not sure making an estrogen there. In the future, you might want to go. Engine power power number two is on and stabilized. It's going to fire up number one. Understood, that Russia. PTU barking at us. Rear, 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 rear. Tennis ground, sky high, 45 with the weather instruments to marina. Did you say hello to me, even though I didn't say hello to you? Of course I did, X-Bane Finland. I see you out there, man. Can we test the 787 next stream? Maybe next stream, Fins. Take it for a rip. Hey, man, just passed my exam for ETC at VATSIM. What province are you in? Nice, Jordy. I'm in Ontario, my friend. Where did you pass for? 
Sky High 45, clear to Marina Airport. Crate and then Power, Power. love you too, buddy. Thanks for tuning in, man. No worries, my man. Download x 11 two days ago, trying to set up my first full flight. Nice, David. That's awesome, dude. How much did all your sceneries, plugins, and aircraft cost in total? MPT, thousands of dollars, my friend. C4 Vlogs, thank you so much, dude, for that subscription as well. Very much appreciated, my friend. Glad you're enjoying the content, sir. Welcome, welcome. All right, what gate did we push from? Bravo 3. All right. Let's go ahead and put our park brake on. Number 9, Alpha Fox, Thank you. Make that request with Los approach. You can expect that hand is about 40 miles from Los El Monte Tower, Baron 1955, clear of the runway at Echo. Request taxi to parking. Baron 1955, taxi to parking via Alpha, remain this frequency. Alpha, park at Alpha, remain this frequency. Baron 1955, you got seven as a pass, but uh, in the future plan you descend. I saw that you were making those airstrings because we were too, you were too high. Plan you descend to the Sorais as a pattern altitude. A couple of miles from the airport. Hi guys, center flap position so two for departure. Simply enter the uh, traffic pattern. Auto break over to max RTO. Uh, stand mistake, I might thank you for your help. Let's go ahead and arm those spoilers. So is disconnected and bypass and has been removed. Hand signal will be on the right. We'll see you next time and have a great flight. Thanks, John Fly. Alrighty, let's go ahead and call up Burbank Ground. Burbank Ground, good afternoon. United 1828, push back from gate Bravo 3, ready to taxi, assume 15. United 1828, but on ground, good afternoon, runway 15, taxi via Alpha, cross runway 8 at Alpha. Howdy, runway 15, Alpha crossing runway 08 at Alpha as well for your United 1828. Alright guys, let's go ahead and release our park brake. Good afternoon, Captain Canada. Jose, what's going on, dude? Welcome aboard, man. Glad to have you here, sir. Hope you are doing well. The newest Zebo is a HUD for the captain side. Indeed it does, man. Roman, how are you, dude? Welcome, welcome. I've downloaded x -Plane because the sound system cannot so be initialized and I updated all the drivers. The shit's annoying. Hmm, he best. Yeah, that is annoying. I can only imagine, man. It's not sound good. Clear takeoff, winds 210 at 4. Clear takeoff, 208, two things. Alright, so we're going to cross right ways. here at Alpha. I'm in London. Where are you at in Ontario? I'm in Ottawa, my friend. Ottawa, Ontario. Nation's capital, sir. Alright, let's do our takeoff config. Ecam memos, no blue. I also want to show you guys what the TPR pedals look like all set up, guys. So I will be doing that here after departure. Uh, runway 9 is the only circling approach in CAT. C aircraft, uh, three are minimums. Wow, yeah, Mr. Teeth, it's a crazy approach, dude. I don't even know how you would do a circle nine, land runway 9. All right, let's get tower frequency plugged in here, guys, on 18.7 in Burbank. 18.7's plugged in, wonderful. So how are you guys liking the little 3D joysticks at the bottom right corner? You guys liking that? You guys think it's cool that we're able to, uh, you know, see all my movements and stuff like that? I think it's pretty damn neat, guys. Not going to lie. How about Skippo? We're almost going boarding. Nice, dude. I wish I could have all those things. When I get older, I want to become an airline pilot. Would you like to be training now? Got any tips? <laughs> no, man. I'm, I'm not a real-world pilot, dude. I've never experienced that in my life. Uh, my tips would be as useful as, uh, you know, nothing, pretty much. <laughs> nothing. How do you just pitch trim? Uh, I have it programmed on my joystick. There's two buttons up the top and the left. Speaking of which, we need to set ours to up 1.07. Actually, we need to get that in here. There we go, 1.7. Good. All right, let's tune uh, tower in now. Actually, you know what? We'll wait till we get down here. Brova. It's not that I don't want to, dude. I'm just a little bit old, man. 
Uh, I didn't have my priori priorities set when I was younger. So, uh, yeah. Alright, let's tune the tower now. Departure frequency, which he gave us, will be on 34.2. So go ahead and get that tuned in here. 34.2. Let's go ahead and slow this guy down here. 34.2. There we go. Alright. Burbank Tower, good afternoon. United 1828, holding short runway 15 and Alpha, ready for departure. United 1828, Burbank Tower, good afternoon, runway 15, clear for takeoff, wind 130 at 8. Runway 15, clear for takeoff, United 1828. Am I the only American Airlines pilot uh, here? Maybe, Thomas? How am I doing? Approaching. From a real Run. pilot Five. to a non real pilot. <laughs> Veeping on board. Oh, shush. It's my plane. Get to do whatever I damn well want in my plane, right? Right. All right, guys, let's bring those throttles up to about 40%. On runway, one, five. Seven, one, nine, five. Wonderful, Contact looks great, flex set. There we go, flex set, flex set, there we go. Airspeed's alive. One hundred knots. V one. Rotate. Positive rate. Gears going up. Alrighty, right turn to a heading of two one zero. Throttles down to the climb United position. United 1828, contact SoCal departure. SoCal departure, United 1828. SoCal departure, good afternoon, United 1828, 3000 for 4000. United 1828, SoCal departure, ready contact. Turn right heading 340, climb and maintain 5000. Right turn 350 up to 5000, United 1828. Alright guys, you heard the man, right turn 350. Let's go ahead and get that plugged in right here. So let's go 350. United 1828, climb and maintain 14000. 14000, United 1828, clear direct chum. Clear direct chum, United 1828, thanks. Clear direct chum. Alright guys, flaps up position one. Like the flight control display in the right hand corner. Champs, thanks so much, man. Glad you're enjoying it, dude. Alright, guys, 3 200 knots. Let's go flaps clean. We got our uh, speed plugged in here. There we go. Wonderful. Watch that climb. Oh, a little bit of wind shear there. Lost about 20 knots right there. Did anybody see that? You ever crashed on a live stream? I have. Once. Twice. Twice. I'm going to hand fly this as long as I can. You have no clue what it's like having a joystick now to fly with. It's just, oh man, it's so perfect. Pull up the nose gear? What? The nose gear is up, man. What are you talking about? The gear's been up for a while, man. Let's bring that nose up. Pitch for 250 knots. There we go. Wonderful. All right, it's got our nose lights off. Our runway turnoff's coming off. United 
1527, United 1828. There's 10,000 feet, guys. Pitch that nose down a little bit. Gain some speed. Landing lights can come off. Seat belts can come off as well. Center Center, good afternoon. United 1828, 10,800 for 140. United 1828, Los Angeles Center, good afternoon. Climbing insane, flight level 230. 230, United 1828. Alright, guys, make that right turn. Sky High 45, Samuel Tower, and with Zulani, good for takeoff, wind 080 at 7. so responsive it's so smooth i can't get over it i really can't like it just it makes so much sense flying an airbus now with the stick it's it's insane it is insane november 9 alpha fox with contact las vegas approach 125.9 Here in a drum corpse, I have been. What joysticks do you have? The T16000M, dudes, in the title. And uh, we got a nice little 3D model display for you right there in the bottom right hand corner of the stream. November 349, Alpha Fox, at Los Angeles Approach. Good afternoon, I'll see you at 2985. Advise when you have water. Expect visual approach. Runway 1 line the right, unless you have another request. Alrighty guys, let's throw an autopilot, head float up to about 15,000 feet. Now we can catch some views leaving Hello, Burbank. You like the joystick better than the yoke? Uh, it's the future, I agree, man. I agree. Does your joystick have the tension wheel underneath? No, Chris, it is, uh, it's amazing, man. It, they use sensors, so it's, there's no, there's no spring wheel, there's no nothing. It's sensors, and that's why it's just so damn, like, accurate. It's amazing. Will you be getting the Warthog Joystick Aerodynamics? Yes. Eventually, I do believe Thrustmaster will send that over to us, man. Really like your videos. Greetings from Germany. Tom Ehrling, thank you so much, man. Glad you're enjoying them, too. Uh, is the Pro Flight Yoke still worth it? Uh, Yoni have. I would honestly be keeping your eye out on the Honeycomb Yoke system, man. I think that's going to be the future for yokes moving forward in flight simulation. My opinion, of course. I think there was an arrow calling arrow We're plans for next week. Now the Pilot Edge membership is up. We're going to be back in the UK, Walsh. Got some new sceneries that I got to show you guys. This should be fun. Two, two, one, Andrew Wharton, what's up, dude? Welcome, welcome. The new Ethena 04. Thank you so much for that subscription. Very much appreciated, my friend. Glad you're enjoying the content. Welcome, welcome. All right, guys, there's 18,000 feet. Let's go ahead and get standard barrel. Left side and right side, good. Is that the uh, pilot headset you were talking about? It is indeed. Vest, how do I sound, man? How do I sound? Rick S., how are you, dude? Welcome, welcome in. Glad to he have you back on board. Greetings from Lithuania. Marius, what's up, dude? Welcome, welcome. I mean, I have the Pro Flight Yoke. Do I need to get... Uh, do I need to get rid of it slash upgrade? I mean, that's your personal opinion, dude. I went five years with my Flight Yoke, man, without any issues. It's only now that I'm streaming f almost full-time that I start uh, I'm needing to start looking at some other peripherals available for us. You sound orgasmic. Try doing ASMR vids. <laughs> nice. Nice. If you're ever in Europe, I recommend doing a landing at LPFR. LPFR. All right. I'll, I'll take a look at that. I thought you had your last stream on Pilot Edge last time. Nope. Rainbow Banana. This is today, my friend. Subscription ends tomorrow, so today will be our last day. We used to use the yoke when you fly Boeings. Uh, Larry, I'm not quite sure, to be honest with you, dude. I'm kind of on the fence right now. Um... I really. 1828, contact center 133.55. 33.55, United 1828. So 
Commander Center, good afternoon, United 1828, flight level 21,600 for 230. United 1828, Los Angeles Center, climate maintained, flight level 370. 370, United 1828, thanks. Infinite Flight, coming in with a $2 donation, thank you so much, man. He goes, why do you vape? It's not good for you. Well, I can promise you it's a hell of a lot better than smoking, man. And uh, I am currently, what are we at here, guys? It's been a minute since I've even checked my little app. Let's see what we've been doing here. How many days are we sitting at here, guys? We are at... There you go, boys. 70 days without a cigarette. 70 days, boys. 70 days without a cigarette, my friends. So we're going to take that. But thank you so much for that donation, man. Much appreciated. Damn it, for flight, you're persistent. I'll give you that. <laughs> Next time Cap is flying BA, he should have a cup of tea uh, to get the real British feel. I agree with that. <laughs> Two things that suck the most in this world, smoking and P3D. Oh, boy. Uh, I foresee the hate messages coming soon. I drink some tea. I'll drink some tea. Sure, why not? Flying around with BA? I'll drink that tea. No worries. Got you. I love having this setup like this, though. It's just so clean. It's so easy to use now. I have, like, everything here in front of me. Got my keyboard. Got my radio stack. Everything's just beauty. Really love your videos, Cap. Uh, Nagaraj, thank you so much, man. Glad you're enjoying them, dude. Any flights in or out of Charlotte Douglas? Very soon, Larry. I'm working on a conversion right now, my friend. So very soon, dude. Uh, but 70 days with rainbow well, banana uh, blues. Three, so you got it, man. Banana blues. Walk 1-4-3-6. Epic life! Thank you so much, man. Glad you're enjoying the content, dude. Thank you so much for the kind words. Homegrown TA? <laughs> no way, eh? Got some of that homegrown for you, bud. Epic life! You're the man, dude. Thank you so much. You're gonna start smoking again? Nope. We are not. I've been three years without a sink. The secret is, go to the gym. Yeah, it's true, Rick. That is true. Uh, Marius, can I show my setup? Eventually soon, dude, we'll do a setup tour. Let me get a new desk and get things fucking set up. Actually, you know what? While I have you guys here and all your attention, let's take a look at the T-Flight rudder pedals. Now that we've got them all set up. Um, oh, boy. Fuck, they're so heavy, man. All right, so. Um, here's what they look like, guys completely set up, ready to go, with the pedals all attached onto it. Um, so that is the T-Flight rudder system, the brand new rudder system by uh, Thrustmaster. All I can say is wow, straight up wow. That is all I can say to you guys. Um, the design behind these is like nothing I've ever seen from rudder pedals. Um, I just want you to look at how easy they are to move back and forth. And that's just with one hand, balancing it with my other hand. Um, they are extremely smooth. Uh, just amazing. Um, the full, I'll give you a side view here. The full, full uh, pedal is pretty amazing. Uh, you can see it's got the braking action here. And of course, you can move it back and forth. Uh, it actually has a pretty big travel. That's the full travel right about there. I'm trying to pull it forward. That's the full travel there. Uh, so pretty cool, pretty amazing when you have them all set up. Uh, I have manipulated it. Uh, the pedals actually uh, come a lot further up. I have kind of set them like this so that I can rest my feet on them uh, when need be. But yeah, guys, that's what they look like all set up. Pretty damn cool. Probably the coolest thing I think that I've received from Thrustmaster. Um, absolutely amazing. We'll be flying with these next week, guys. We can do a proper full review next week when we have some more time but uh pretty crazy man dead zone there is no Sky dead zone zero Capital dead zone my friend zero dead five. zone love to skype interview with you on my podcast larry sounds good man shoot me uh shoot me a message on my hotmail 
should be available on my YouTube page, and uh, maybe we can set something up, man. Hey, Cannon, everyone is saying the Flight Factor 757 got an update. How do I update it? I don't think it's out yet, Jaden. Maybe it is out, but I don't know. But uh, open up your aircraft folder. So go to your aircraft folder. Open up the Flight Factor 757. You should see a thing called X Updater. Go ahead and check that out, man. Cap, how much do those pedals cost? $500, Rainbow Banana. 500 bones. Worth every penny, in my opinion. Did you start in a small plane and then work your way up to big planes? Tyler, I did the opposite. I started in big planes and worked my way smaller, man. I did things backwards. <laughs> We're gonna go to flight plan down under. Soon transplanted Yank, very soon, man. Uh, I haven't been able to make the uh, to make FMC on the 70, 737 800. Do you have any advice? Uh, Vito, I would suggest watching some tutorial videos, man. Because the FMC on the 737 is pretty basic. It's pretty much straightforward. Arrow 1366, approved. Uh, what airport is below you? VCV. Good question. I don't know. I don't know. Speak about an infinite flight and they broke infinite flight. Too many people. Sounds about right. Cap Cannon, give your old pedals to me. <laughs> Tony P, what's going on, dude? I'm here now. You can continue to fly just playing. What's up, Cap Cannon? How are you, Tony? Welcome aboard, man. Glad to have you back. Uh, how'd you learn all the IFR phrases? Tom, just sitting and listening to ATC for hours, dude. I used to go to bed listening to air traffic controllers. Used to have, they used to have, I think they still do have the app. Hawk 1, 7, two, Tango, Tango, advise when you have Reverend Quella, expect visual approach, runway 8. You guys are struggling with the FMC? Interesting, huh? Um, I'll see if I can, maybe one of the mods can link you to a tutorial in the Discord. I mean, the 737 FMC is like very, very two, straightforward. Tango, it's very departure. much like input Tango, everything and it just takes zero. care of it. That's it's not basic. Pilot. I've watched five tutorials. Pilot, Damn, Vito. Huh. Approach. You and I, cool. Yep. Uh, how are you? Vol Voltanic Mercury. My goodness. It's a loaded name. How are you, dude? Welcome aboard. Hello from Oslo. Herman, what's going on, man? Welcome aboard, dude. Hope you are uh, doing well. Having an awesome Saturday. Heading 300. Back to the Silex. Expect ILS from the eight approach. How many likes are we sitting at? Oh, can we get three more likes, guys, to get this video up? to 300 likes if you have not done so already please make sure you smash down that like button guys let's get this video up to as many likes as we can are the air brakes deployed nope they are not how can i learn the ifr phraseology for vatsim have you a tip for me captain canada uh color code yes Give me a second here, dude. I need to try and figure out. I don't even know if I still have it bookmarked. Shadow 221 Let me see if I can find the bookmark. Yeah, I don't seem to have it anymore, man. Um, I'll try and find it for you. I used to use an awesome little thing. So I'll have, to, uh, I'll have to take a look for you, dude. I can't seem to find it right now. Did you learn, uh, how did you learn how everything operates? Tyler, lots of time, man. Is this VATSIM? Nope, this is Pilot Edge, my friend. Pilot Edge. People keep mentioning stop vaping will be timed out. There you go. You heard it from the mods. I want a good simulated plane, but I don't know which is better, A330 or 757. I haven't got time for 8-hour flight in a 330, but it's cheaper than the 75. Because two weeks ago I bought the Embraers and I'm not happy. Uh, yeah, Kepersky, I'm not sure, man. 
I mean, both of those planes are good. It really, really just depends what you're looking for, man. Cap Canada, your community is almost as big as Chewy Night of Force community on Twitch. Respect to how well you have developed. Bennett, thank you so much for the kind words, man. Much appreciated, my friend. Cap, I got my first air badge at Air Cadets on Thursday. Nice, dude. What'd you get? That's awesome, man. Congrats. Hey, Cap Canada, when are you going to do one of your own Marvel movies? <laughs> oh, boy. Hate to leave before the landing, but I have to take my girlfriend out to dinner. Safe, butter landing. Cap, hope we get to see the interview. Much love. Sounds good, Larry. Hopefully you sent me an email, man, and we can work something out. That would be awesome, dude. JMH Trucks 32005 coming in with a $2.60 donation. Thank you so much, man, for the support. He says, love ya. Well, thank you so much, man. For supporting the channel, my friend, sincerely means a bunch. Glad that you are enjoying the content, sir. And thank you so much, man, for being so generous. Huge no floaties to you, dude. Uh, any alternatives for ortho for XP since it's not working for me? HD Mesh, but I, I'm not a fan of HD Mesh. I personally think it turns your simulator into a... It's just load times are fucking off. Hey, got back to leave flight for a while. Back now. Nice, John. Welcome six. back, dude. Hope you're doing well. Having a good Please Saturday. You have Get it. I got the flight effect for 757 aircraft page, and I see X updater, but it's a jar file. How do I open it? You should have Java installed on your computer. If you don't, ha get Java installed on your computer. That should solve your issues, man. Ethan, triple seven needs a V2, but it is a good plane to fly, and the 330 is a great plane as well. Um, the only issue that I can't fly it on the Pilot Edge network because they have their own. I don't even know what they do. Jar does something weird with the electrical buses, and for some reason the microphone will not turn on when you're on the Pilot Edge network. Not quite sure why. Why? How do you pay to use Pilot Edge, Adrian? You go to their website, man. And uh, you can pay PayPal, yeah, credit card, Visa debit, however you'd like. Do you know what they added in the update? No, I do not, unfortunately. What do you use for textures? Uh, for ground textures, David, I use Ortho for XP, my friend. Only 12 months ago, there were only a few people in your streams. Times have changed. Indeed, they have explained Finland. Why the sad face though? That's supposed to be a happy face, bro. Just bought the Tolis? Nice, dude. Awesome, Bob Cornelius. Patrick Hughes, how are you, man? Welcome aboard, dude. I'm having a wonderful Saturday afternoon. Hopefully you are as well, man. What's the difference between Pilot Edge and VATSIM? Pilot Edge is a paid service. Savage Kid, thank you so much for that subscription, man. Very much appreciated. Glad you're enjoying the content, sir. Welcome aboard. Uh, Pilot Edge is a paid service. And Pilot Edge is every single day available uh, for, I believe it's 17 hours a day. So you know that they are online. You don't ever have to worry about people not being online. Airbus or Boeing, pick one. I can't do it, Tech. I can't, man. There's too many that I like. Capcan, you've installed Spain UHD. No, I have Ortho for XP, though. Going over there. Capcan, the sad face shows me like missing old times and not meaning that the new times are bad face. All right, got you. I got you. Marthodonis says, file missing even though I've created tiles multiple. Your orthodontist? What? Alrighty, 150 on the heading. We'll expect vectors to the Las Vegas airspace, United 1828. Uh, Is that not for United 1828? United 1828, that is correct. Why did I hear United 1828? November 9, Alpha Fox, but uh, five miles from Shand, turn left heading 280, maintain 5000 until established on the localizer. Clear ILS, and we do see left approach. What? Why are we. What the fuck is going on? Level 9, Alpha Fox, that's heading 280. Unit 1828, clear direct Las Vegas. Clear direct Las Vegas, unit 1828, thanks. Why does it keep doing this? Tango, 
Cessna 172 Tango Tango, contact Sokol approach 134.2. Baranza 123 Kilo Tango, back to the barge here, radar contact. November 349 Alpha Fox, what I show you in the Why right the turn. fuck does he keep doing Turtle that? Turn left, to heading me. 350, descend and maintain 6000. Got Hawk 172 Tango Tango, so call approach, Roger. So weird. I don't know why it keeps doing that. Are you streaming full time now? No, nope, you only have. Not yet, man. Been thinking about it, but not yet, dude. Is the stream always on Saturdays? It is indeed TS Monday, Wednesday, and Saturdays, my friend. Ecap Kenner, best wishes from Germany. Romano, thanks for tuning in, dude. Absolutely awesome. Can't you hear other pilots speaking on the radio on Pilot Edge? Only if they are on your frequency, my friend. Um. Cupcan, why are pilots called pirates? I don't know. You're talking ATC or tech support. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Update my specs? Why? What do you mean? Oh, I guess so, yeah. I don't know if I can. I have to see if I can add anything into that. Awesome, I'll be sure to tune in. Great to be on board. TS, awesome, dude. Glad to have you here, man. Thanks for tuning in. You're the best buddy, Joe. Thank you so much for the kind words, dude. Very, very much appreciated, my friend. Glad you're enjoying it. Number nine, Alpha Box at eight miles from Shant. Turn left, heading 280. Maintain 5000 until established on the localizer. But I left on with 26 left approach. Airline, are we flying? We are flying. God damn it, that's loud. United. United old school livery. Glad to be here stream after stream. Tom Flight uh, Sim. Hell yeah, dude. Welcome back, six, man. Traffic, one o'clock, eight miles. Mr. Chief, it's better fly east today, headwinds, WB were bad today at work, yeah, I believe you, man, I believe it, uh, join just for the Telluride approach, <laughs> Legion forever, welcome aboard, man, thoughts on the A220, yeah. it looks interesting, this is the default sound package, uh, nope, this is the BSS sound pack, Yoni Ha, I don't know, man. I don't know. We'll have to see. We're going to be flying Airbuses for a while, so we'll see. But you know the way it works when you stream, man. If I try and use this while flying in a uh, Boeing, everybody's going to give me shit now. There's going to be like you're flying Boeing with a joystick. Oh, boy. Never ends, man. Westbound. All right, there we go. Westbound. We fly B air, B A. Hell yeah, dude! We'll fly some B A around. Absolutely. The Hawk one three one zero nine local departure released. Body departure. Clear on for this one within five minutes. Herman, we'll be back up to Oslo sometime soon, man. Within the next month or two, I would assume. Report airborne. We will be back. When are you flying? I got that one. Use the engine blades to make smoothies real quick. Thanks for food blender is broken. Absolutely, Julius. 
Absolutely, my friend. You flying with real weather conditions? We are indeed, my friend. <laughs> are indeed. Got a little bit of a crosswind. Ever thought of building a full-size cockpit sim once your job is in Metalworks, if I'm correct? Uh, I've thought about it, but I don't know, man. Like, I don't own my house. I rent my current house, so, like, I don't know, man. Maybe one day when I own a house. Please find a Barcelona. Yes, it's been a minute, man. We'll definitely hit up Barcelona next week, dude. Yes, I live in Britain. If you go down to 119 Squadron, Scunthorpe, I can. I got my first aid heart start badge on Thursday. Nice. That's the game. That's awesome, dude. And if you go to Oslo, you have to go to Helsinki or Rova Niemi. All right. Sounds good. Want to fly to Low? Yes, we've been to Low. We will again. Hey, Captain, you think that one more time we'll be flying with Iberia? Yes, absolutely, Rodri. Absolutely, man. Wait, does the T-60,000M have two separate throttle levers? Uh, no. It is one throttle lever. Positive rate. Lotus Beer's up. Nice. Very nice. Where the fuck is my water? I haven't even had a single sip of water this whole stream. Skyhawk 172, Tango Tango, 3 miles from Silex, turn right heading 050, maintain 3400 until established on the localizer. Clear ILS, runway 8 approach. So much better. Oh, I was dying. Or would you prefer a Boeing 787 or an A350? Eesh, I don't know, man. I like both. <laughs> Everybody's like, what do you like better? It's like, uh, I don't know, guys. I'm, a, I'm an Av geek. I'm an Av geek. I love them all, guys. I love them all. You ever flown to Iceland? I have not. I want to fly to Reykjavik. I want to fly there real bad. I'm going to pick up the scenery, actually. Maybe we can do that next week. My colleagues at work uh, does smiting as a hobby. Myself, I've only done MIG welding. Nice, dude. I do MIG and TIG at work. Why have you stopped uh, to flights with a co-pilot? I have not, Yoni have. We're going to do them again, man. You dealt with failures and stuff like that in a video before? Absolutely, we have, Connor. We have, we have. Is it a bug where you have to enter the star waypoints manually when I fly the CRJ? Yep, Allegiant Forever. Part of the issue with it being so old, man. Roger, I have requested that take a look at the check for description before you do and get back to me if you'd like to get that hold. A flight to the highest airport in the world, Lukla. Yes, definitely want to do that, man. Uh, where'd you get my shirt? Joe, I make this shirt, man. Get over to my Teespring. Roger, Somebody can link them, one of the mods. What's the secret with welding aluminum? <laughs> Super low heat, man. <laughs> Aluminum's one of those things, dude, where like... If your heat is not set up properly or you hold your electrode just over it for like half a second too long, not even a microsecond, you can blow right through it and burn it. It's uh, it's honestly a pleasure to work with because it's so clean, but it's also the biggest pain in the ass to work with because of those factors right there. It's melting point is just so low. Can you do an interior tour? I sure can. Why not? Let's go for a little bit of a tour here, guys, through the main cabin. Here we go. Our first class full of our mods, donators, and sponsors. Pretty sure at this point they're all sitting on top of one another, though. But, you know. Continue on our tour down here. Imagine a plane made of magnets. <laughs> Captain Denny, what's going on, dude? Welcome back, man. Hope you're doing well. Seven thirty-seven, still the best for your bucks since it's free. Yep, I agree with you there. I agree. Captain, would you save your beard and take off your glasses for ten grand? No. Maybe. No. No. Twenty-five grand. I'll think about it. Boom. There you go. Cabin tour for you guys. Is that Vegas underneath us? That is Vegas. Nice. Look at that, guys. Las Vegas. You can actually just make out the airport right under our nose. There's the strip.
Very cool. Go number three, stand by. Facebook Nick is on top of you. <laughs> Ever thought about becoming a real uh, commercial pilot? Connor, I have, but uh, it's way too expensive here in Canada, man. Way too expensive. Michael Levine, what's going on, dude? Welcome back, man. Hope you're having an awesome afternoon. Okay, wait, how come that you don't have the Thrustmaster joystick? What do you mean? I do. We are flying with it right now, my friend. How about a view of the Vegas Strip? Wow, well, we're looking at it. We should be flying over it here shortly. I don't know how good of a view we're going to get, though. Alfred White, no worries, man. No worries at all. If it only costs 20k to become a pilot, yeah. Times that by about 10 here in Canada. How long till descent? Uh, quite a while, man. Probably about an hour. Nick S. Blackhawks Talk. What's up, dude? Welcome aboard, man. Hey, Cap, when you fly the PC-12 or the TBM? Uh, I'll probably fly the TBM because I think the developer is going to send me over a copy to take a look. Uh, Cap Ken, which one have you got? The Warthog Hotas? Nope, the uh, T-16000M, my friend. Do I use X camera? Nope, I do not. Captain Denny, of course, man. This is like the joystick in the image. That is exactly what it is, man. One-to-one -one replica, my friend. We fly in Asia. You only have uh, maybe one day, dude. Maybe one day. Wait, Cap, an A320 can land at Telluride. Isn't that a short runway? It is a very short runway. We're going to be going with uh, auto brakes at max. <laughs> That's for sure. We're nice and light, though. We should be good. The plasticky one? Yes, exactly, Cesar. In 70k to become a commercial pilot here in Germany? Yeah. It's, uh, I think 160,000 to get your, uh, to get your ATPL here in Canada. About $160,000. Last time I checked. Cupcake, did you lose weight or did you just choose your, uh, change your camera position? Well, probably a little bit further back than I usually am. Usually I'd probably be right about here. But uh, we are pushed back just a little bit. But I have been losing weight. Thanks for noticing. <laughs> but the same in the UK. Yeah, it's awful, man. Doesn't make sense. They're in dire need for pilots, but uh, they want to charge you an arm and a leg just to get your license. That doesn't doesn't quite add up to me. Ever thought about buying a used yoke sus joystick and program it so you can use it in the sim? No. No, I'm not a fan of buying used yeah, electronics, to be honest with you. Request buy number three. Number six, seven, eight, eight, Bravo, advise ready. What well, plugin do I use for the camera? Nothing, man. x Red comes with a pretty Oceanside. sweet camera built Red into itself, dude. Maintain 2000. When can you do Chicago O'Hare flight? Uh, Omar, probably about two or three weeks, man. We're back in the U.S. again. Buying a used and a new one to do what? I don't understand the question. You use joystick on Airbus and Yoke from Boeing from now on. Clayton, most likely. We'll see, though, dude. We'll see. But your camera is so fast. What do you mean my camera is so fast? Ultimate Water Enhancement is on sale for $15. Downloaded it and look looks great. Yeah, I'm not a fan of that, Joseph. I don't fly low enough to care what the waves look like, so to speak. Is Virgin America have even a real? Uh, Hennessy, they're not anymore. They've been bought out by Alaska. Should be over the legendary Hoover Dam. I think it's right down there. There it is, right there. Right there. Actually modeled in X plane. Would you look at that? Hoover Dam. Sightseeing. Good 
call, whoever that was. Mr. T. Buying new yokes since you don't like buying old electronics and then programs it. Yeah, maybe. Should come program, though. We need to do a transatlantic flight from JFK to LHR at some point in the future. Most likely not, Colin. Uh, sorry, Connor. I'm not really a fan of those long hauls, dude. Not a fan of the long hauls, man. Nice shot of the damn. Thanks. No worries, dude. Is there any plugin to get the white line that follows your plane look better and longer? What do you mean, the white lines? Hey, Cap Dan made a new Nightbot command. It's uh, that all right? I'll Discord and DM you about it if you're interested. Delta, yeah, all right, sounds good. Runway, left, taxi via Delta, Delta 6. What happened to HyperX? Uh, I still have them, but I'm testing these ones out uh, because they were sent to me by Thrustmaster. <laughs> Ulrich de Sousa, how do you know that? Cap K, can you fly the new livery for American Delta and United the East Coast when we're back on Batsim? Sounds good, Aviation Tech. Uh, Rip just realized that I've been watching the stream on my data connection. Uh-oh, no good. What's the communication you use to do the online mode for ATC? It's called Pilot Edge, Leo. Pilot Edge. Should you do Toronto to Saskatoon? Yeah, maybe one day. Well, Cap Canada, how do you get that joystick cam? Pretty cool, right, Nando? Uh, Ulrich, what's going on, man? Welcome aboard, dude. He plugs your streams at flight school? <laughs> what a good little cousin he is, isn't he? Give him a high five for me next time you see him, my man. I'm about it, uh, to explain things, but things come to high altitudes like a cloud. Uh, yeah, I don't know what you mean, explain Finland. Not quite sure, man. Next view, the infamous Grand Canyon. Now, I don't think we're going to hit it, to be honest with you. I think it's down more south. Cap K, I should do a sponsored by Thrustmaster intro. No. No. Why? <laughs> no, thank you. We don't need to be like f complete full sellouts, right? <laughs> you mean the contrails? All right, yeah, contrails? No. Apparently, there's going to be a fix for that with X-Plane 11.30 in the new particle system. X-Plane, it costs 12 bucks here and I can't afford it. I want it so bad. It costs $12? What do you mean? That's cheap. Is there a place where I can buy the Flight Factory 320 for less than $89? Nope. Where do you get the LES scenery That's that you normally the use? On the explain.org store, man. It's called Glitter Gulch. Where do you get the KLS? I just read that one, alright. Eli. Alright, the thing that comes out of the plane. Oh boy. Oh boy. Chemtrails? <laughs> Cap Cannon, next updater. What does it mean when it asks for the license key and username? Jaden. So the license, the license key is... Um, the key that you got when you purchased the airplane and the email is your uh, explain.org store email that you use. Cap Flight Factor 777 worth it on sale? I don't know, Affixstein. It's up to you, dude. I mean, it flies. It's good. You have to do some fixes, but $12 is cheap, but it's a lot of money here in Argentina. Games on Steam are cheaper here compared with the US. Yeah, no kidding. Damn, dude. Is that correct? This is x 11, my friend. Watch stream on big screen TV. Nice, Roman. That's awesome, dude. Number 7463 Lima, advise ready. Number 63 Lima, good to Bob Hope Airport, heading 220. Red Michael, yeah, I think you can, man. Files. Pretty sure you can. Do you know if a 1080 Ti is 000, enough 000, to run a 2K departure. monitor? Absolutely, my friend. Absolutely. Squawk 5340. Oh, sorry for tuning in so late. I had a company party, lots of green stuff. Niels, what's up, man? No worries, dude. Glad you could tune in. Simon, what's going on, man? Welcome back, dude. Hope you're doing well. Once I've heard from a reliable source that... Oh, all right. Somebody got that one. Six to my backpack. six to my you doing this for the i3? Is it on PC? Indeed it is, man. Can you give me the K-Bird charts? I'm not no nice English. Captain Denny, you have to... I use the uh, 
Um, Navigraph charts, man, so I can't really hand those out. It's on a cloud system that you need to log into. You need to try a baby milk flower on your vape. Man, it's awesome. Baby milk flavor? Yeah, I don't know about that. You should try the Globe Master if you have that for x -Plane. I don't think we do, to be honest with you. Why don't you hear the pilot's readbacks? Because they're not on my frequency. It's the same air traffic controller. They're just not on our frequency, guys. It's Oktoberfest in a week. Party hard. Oh, baby. Are we playing? Indeed we are, man. We're just on autopilot. I'm actually going to let him know here. So I'm just sending you mind if he united uh, 18, 28 steps out of the cockpit for about two or three minutes. United 18, 28. That's fine. Advise on back. Advise on back. Thanks. United 18, 28. All right, guys. Give me two seconds. Going to use the bathroom real quick. Eat an apple. I'll be right back. Number 374, Echo Delta, contact local departure. Number 80, Bravo, contact local departure. Number 375, Delta, local departure, the contact climate maintains 6,000. Six seven eight Bravo, local departure. Radar contact, climb and maintain four thousand. Who is direct ocean side?
Levenbo 109 advise when you're ready to proceed further. Levenbo 109 cleared to uh, Soka Logistics Airport via the last switch cleared. Number 109 via the last which is cleared. Approaching. What's going on, guys? We are back. LM Tech Cellulaires. Thank you so much, dude, for that subscription. Very much appreciated, my friend. Glad you're enjoying the content, dude. Welcome Number back. Number four, Echo Delta, clear direct ocean side. Now we're back. Ate an apple, went for a P, ate an apple. It was great. Oh, shit. Mr. Point Blake coming in with a five euro donation. So he goes, hey guys, just on a quick smoking break from family dinner and wanted to check out the new cam. Looks awesome. Have fun and let's see you guys on Monday. Mr. Point Blank, thank you so much, dude, for the five euro donation. Huge no floaties to you, man. Thank you so much for supporting the channel. Hope you're having a wonderful day with the fam jam. Thank you so much, man. Approaching. Rasmus, what's up, dude? Heard me. Welcome back, man. Glad to see you here. Jackson22, thank you so much, dude, for the subscription as well. Very much appreciated, my friend. Glad you're enjoying the content, sir. Welcome aboard. Captain Denny, uh, just copy and paste it, dude. I don't want to have to scroll through. Everything. My real pilot, Leo, I am not. Did you fly the A350? I do have it. We have flown it. We will fly it again soon. Uh, and Jetta Bala, thank you so much, man. I love you guys as well. So United 1828 back at the controls. United 1828, Roger. Swiss 001 is streaming, really? Let's find that. How many people is he streaming to? Probably more than us. Almost a thousand people watching? Jesus Christ. Oh, what sh kind of shit show is that? Like, I don't... I just don't understand how like they could be like aviation enthusiasts. You just go to his channel and there's literally like 50 planes flying 10 feet away from one another. It's like what? Like, this is so unrealistic, insane, man. Uh, so thanks for streaming once again, but I gotta go. Nicholas, take care, man. Hopefully I'll catch you on Monday. Jason McKnight, my man, coming in with a two dollar donation. Thank you so much, man. It was a bit a while since I've been on your streams. Indeed, it has, Jason. Welcome back, dude. Huge no footies to you. Thank you so much for supporting the channel, man. Um, Canada's license key, serial number you get in the email. Yes, Jaden, that's it. As well as what you'll get on the actual org store. Last call in was unreadable, static only. There's 15 seconds I'll never get back. <laughs> yep. Very <laughs> nice. nice, nice, nice. 
Fly the A350 from Bangkok to Hong Kong if there is a good scenery for over there. Maybe you only have. Maybe, maybe. Time to land. Uh, no, we're still 220 miles out. We can uh, go inside the pit here. We haven't been inside here in a minute. Um, over to our data page here. Sorry, perf page. Initial. I don't know, it doesn't show us. Top of descent is in 125 miles. 125 miles. Make sure you join hotel to Charlie and never mind you are. Jaden, just check your, uh, go on to the xplane.org store. I'm assuming that's where you bought it from. Yeah, go on the xplane.org store. 2702 for United, 1828. Yes, you November 7, North Sierra, contact Los Angeles, Center. 319, Seattle, Roger, Expect Dallas, runway... You tell the ATC center. you're back? Yep, I did indeed, T-Storm. Go on side sticks, left hand, correct? Yeah, I haven't figured out how to, um... Or no, right hand, sorry. I should, I'm gonna try and switch it around so that I can move it to the left hand. I think that'd be cool. Fly like the actual captain's side. Denver Center, good afternoon. United 18 at 28, checking in flight level 370. United 18, 28, Denver Center, good afternoon. Is this American? Ah, uh, we're United. Well, enjoy the rest of the day and safe landing. See you on Monday. Take care, Yoni. Thanks for tuning in, man. Much appreciated, dude. Hopefully you left us with a like, man. Now a good time to say it as well. Guys, if you have not done so already, please make sure you smash down that like button. Let's get this video up to as many likes as we can. Tucker Curriton. What's up, dude? Welcome aboard, man. Hope you're having an awesome Saturday. Side stick on the right. Explain cheats. <laughs> Apparently, right? Have the winds updated themselves in Telluride? Nope, they're even worse now. All right. This is going to be a weird, weird approach, guys. 29011 gusting 22. This is going to be an odd one. At worst, right? Cap Canada 8319 or 727 E319, man. My opinion. Is US Airways America Airlines? Uh, is US Airways American Airlines? Uh, no. I don't think US Airlines even exists anymore, do they? Maybe a dumb question. Why are some of the usernames in chat blue versus white? Yes, blues are moderators, my friend, Mr. Teeth. The blues are the mods. They're the guys that handle everything when I can't pay attention. Capcom, almost every scenery that requires third party doesn't work on me. Why is that? You probably need to download some libraries, my friend. Probably need to download some libraries. If you open up your log.txt file in your main Xplane 11 directory, if you open that up, it should tell you why the sceneries aren't going. 356 likes, 3 dislikes as far as likes. Nice, T-Storm, that's awesome, dude. American bought US Airways a few years back. There you go. Sounds like you will get a chance to show what those new pedals can do. <laughs> right? Indeed it does, my friend. Waiting for that butter. Capcan, I've downloaded everything that it says to be downloaded. Hmm, very weird, I explained Finland. Very weird. Send your, look at your log text though, dude. Does the log text say anything? The A350 is on sale for $35. Is it worth it? Um, Den, I would wait for the V2, man. I would wait for V2. Can I get a route for Monday? I don't even know yet, Aviation Tech. I'll have to take a look, dude. I've picked up like three or four new sceneries out in the EU since we've been on Pilot Edge. So we're definitely going to be going down to take a look at some of those new ones. Alaska 319, descend and maintain 8,000. <laughs> Chris, yep. Monday has to be Barcelona, Alicante, Ibiza, Genoa. Uh, I 
That's not a bad one, actually. That's not a bad one, Nick. I kind of like that. That's a good one. This American A320 you're flying is United. United A320. Close, though. Are we in the UK on Monday? Indeed, we are. Epic Life. Yeah, Indeed, we are. Maybe Cops, sorry, I'm late. Had too much wine. Right. No worries, Anders. Welcome aboard, dude. Hope it sounds like you're having a good Saturday evening, my friend. Yeah, Anders, we're good. Yeah, 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 we're
We're going to vacation coming year. I don't know, Johan, maybe. Send me the peak three arrivals, How long was the flight cap? It was about an hour and a half, maybe a little bit more. Peak three arrivals, Still not showing Cafe top of the set for another uh, 50 miles or so. It's asking us to enter our descent data. Why? Can I not move you? Hello? Hello? There we go. Cafe 140. Ryan Arbuckle, my man, coming in with a four pound contact, donation. Thank you so much, Ryan. He goes, happy Saturday and landings. Well, thank you so much, Ryan, for supporting the channel. And myself, of course, huge no floaties to you, man. Thank you so much, dude. Glad you're enjoying the content, man. All right, let's go over to our perf page here. We'll go to next phase. Next phase. All right, let's deal with all this. Give me two seconds here, guys. Just going to have Simbrief opened here. Um, let's see if we can... Uh, KTEX, we've got a new call. 27014, gusting 20. All right, they're slowly coming our way. <laughs> 3033 on our altimeter. Extremely high pressure there in Telluride. Uh, temperature is 20 degrees. Beautiful day. Winds are 270, 270 at, uh, we're just going to put, we'll put 17. Um, I'm going to take a look at the Flat charts. 319, here. turn left heading 250. 2303. Out of range. Uh, nope. That's what it says. Minimums. Let's put 500. Okay, sure. Let's put 200. Out of range. Okay, let's just not put anything then. How about that? Awesome. Who's that? Burnaby Emergency coming in with a $2 donation. Thank you so much, man, for the support, Magnum. Burnaby. Very, very much appreciated, my friend. We'll go ahead and take a look at the message. He goes, hey, Cap Canada. Sorry, Miss most of the stream, but I could at least watch you do a full approach. Nice, Burnaby Emergency. Thank you so much, dude, for the donation. Very much well, appreciated, man. You don't need to report unless we ask you to. You're just clear to Dallas, one six on approach. Alrighty, looks like top of descent's coming up under 40 miles now. So you give us clearance down to 240. So we'll get that in now, 240. Any news on the 340? Nope. I wish I had news on that, man. Fortunately, I do not. I wish I had news. Hope I'll get to see an interesting landing before it's time for bed. Hopefully, Zant, man, should soon. I want to learn how to fly at 737, but it seems like so much to learn. Any advice? Uh, Simon, spend some time watching some videos, man. There are so many tutorials up there. Um, I would suggest going to check out Flight Sim to Deck. Flight Sim to Deck. Um, he is a real 737 pilot, first officer, and he does live streams as well where he teaches everybody some uh, cool and interesting facts about the 737. So definitely check him out, man. Uh, some people are wondering if they could track the flight, but it is off. Yeah, I'm not going to turn it up now. I mean, we're you know, 100 miles out, we're basically going to start our descent here very shortly. Um, as soon as we're about 10 miles out, we're going to start our descent. Cafe 145 Heavy, contact Oakland Center. One, we're three, close. Two, Just tell them two. we're close. <laughs> Flight deck to Sim. Yep, that's him, Stuart. How long until landing? Keep up the good work. Ross, thank you so much, man. Should be on the ground in about Ross, a half hour, guys. Contact Shadow Tower. Maybe 1, a little bit less. 100. 20 minutes, half hour, we should be on the ground. Alaska 319, affirmative. Contact Seattle Tower, 119er, point niner. Minimums, pull up, terrain, terrain. <laughs> Swole 217, my man, coming in with a $10 donation. Thank you so much, Swole, for the support. Very much appreciated, my friend. Uh, he Cap goes, A1 fast flights and soft landings Oakland to you, Center, Cap. Swole, thank you so much, dude, for continuing to support the channel, man. Huge. No floaties to you, Swole. Swole has been here forever, guys. 
Swole is one of those true OGs around the channel. Thank you so much, Swole, for supporting the Fox channel, my friend. Absolutely awesome. 210 at 7, runway 16 center, uh, BSC, how did I learn how to fly all these planes? I've been in flight simulation for quite some time now, my friend. I got into it when I was younger with my grandfather. My grandfather was in um, was into flight sims. Um, so yeah, I got into it at a pretty young age. I kind of lost everything. I stopped doing the whole flight sim thing because it wasn't cool, you know? Um, sports and chasing girls were a lot cooler than uh, sitting at home playing on your flight simulator. Um, so yeah, man, and about five years ago, I got back into it and started taking it pretty seriously. But uh, do you know what FSS frequency ours? What's FSS? Good luck on this landing. Yeah, should be a good one, Marcona. Should be a good one, man. Do you know what FSS frequencies are? I don't know what FSS means. No worries, BCS. BSC, sorry. No worries, man. Found your channel from flight deck to sim. Nice, Stuart. That's awesome, dude. Well, there you go, man. Gotta support each other, right? Gotta support each other, man. If you like what he's doing. I love what he's doing, man. I think it's uh, it's really good to see pilots come in here and, and give us information like that. GH4EXE. Thank you so much, dude, for the subscription. Much appreciated, my friend. Glad you're enjoying the content, dude. Welcome, welcome. Explainer FSS, explain all the way, my friend. Um, flight service stations. Ooh, no, I do not know them. Uh, do I use reshade? No, I do not. No reshade, my friend. All right, guys, we're going to start our descent here. I think we already missed our descent. That's fine. Start that out now. Let's get our seatbelts on. There goes the plane pitching itself over. I'm going to throw out some spoilers here, half spoilers. So the plane can actually descend itself back on track here. I think 145 take up. I think 145 improved it back on. Do you know GSX level two amazing plugin? Amadu, I have heard about it. We don't have it for X Plane though, but I have heard about it, yes. So if you took that pass by view to see the coming there of planes, so I meant that, is there any plugins to look for, for it better? Ah, no, I don't think so. I don't think so, my friend. Vape Nation, Madeline, what's going on? Thank you so much. Cap, do you use Blue FX? Nope, I don't use anything like that, man. You've got some balls land in A320 and Telluride. Hell yeah, Marcona. Gotta have fun, dude. I was gonna take the 319 into there, but I figured if I botched the landing, I'd probably get super mad at the 319 again. <laughs> so we're gonna fly the 320, because I love this plane. This plane can do no wrong, even if I smash it yeah, on the runway. Contact Oakland Center, can you fly an A330, please? Yeah, Jake, we're gonna fly one on Monday, dude. We're gonna fly one on Monday, my friend. Uh, maybe go around today, maybe an alternate airport? No, most likely not. How's the sound quality of the headphones? Taj Graham, they are good, man. Um, I wouldn't say they're quite up to par with my um, with my HyperX's, but uh, they're close, they're close, man. Adrian Alexandrov coming in with a $7.50 donation. Alexander, thank you so much, dude, for supporting the channel. Very much appreciated, my friend. Goes Cap, you're the best Bravo fight simmer in the moment. At the moment, the keep side. it up. Thank you so much, Adrian. Very much appreciated, man, with the kind words. Huge. No floaties to you, Adrian. Thank you so much, man. I greatly appreciate that, dude. I'm glad you think that way as well, man. Let's get to again. That instruction is monitor ground point. You're going to have to smash it, right? Side. Yeah. RTX 2080, Cap, did you already try? What news on this video card? Nope, I'm not even going to bother with those, dude. Uh, not needed for what I, what I need a graphics card for. Uh, what I most likely will do is probably grab a 1080 Ti once the price comes down. <laughs> Am I the only pilot that plays Infinite Flight on iPad? I think so, maybe. Well, if you can't land in Telluride, the nearest airport is Montrose, Colorado. Yeah. What is the runway at KTEX? What is the length of the runway? Good question, man. Let's take a look at that here. The runway is 7,100 feet. 7,100 feet. Sky 45 reports uh, cancellation of IFR or Mr. Versus frequency. Frequency change. Please. If 
you're not counting the thresholds, it's 6,900 feet. Right, Where's Bill? 18, contact Denver Center, 118.57. 118.57, United 1828. Denver Center, good afternoon, United 1828, flight level 265240. Good at 1828, Denver Center, Roger. Good at 1828, descend to pilot discretion, maintain 16,000, tell you ride altimeter 3032, advise when you have the weather, stay for a tree flight when able. Alrighty, 16,000 on the altitude, we do have the weather on board, and uh, we'll grab the localizer runway 9 today for uh, United 1828, please. United 1828, Roger, spike up. From thanks, 1828. Alaska 19, I believe you were calling ground. Uh, again, the instruction from the tower was to simply monitor ground. That does not mean that you need to call to switch to the frequency. Join Bravo to the ramp, you can monitor that frequency, but again, you do not need to call that instruction. Auto brake, medium, because you can't put it on max for landing. Brake fan will be on as well. It's going to be a sketchy one, boys. Twenty-nine likes from four hundred. Oh, baby! Now's a good time to say, it. guys, if you have not done so already, please make sure you smash down that like button. Let's get this video up to four hundred likes, shall we? That would be very, very much appreciated, my friends. It's not that short. No, it's not too bad. I think it's around the same size as, it's just narrow, it's a very narrow runway. I think it's about the same size as um, Aspen. Pretty sure it's about the same size. Do you have hair? Indeed I do, my friend. Lots of hair. Innsbruck is the same? Okay, there you go. My wife wants to know if Daisy's available to make a cameo appearance. <laughs> Transplanted Yank. I don't even know where she is. Where's Daisy? Daisy. I have treats. Oh yeah, look. We got corn chips. We'll, we'll get her over here with corn chips. She loves corn chips. Daisy. Oh, hello, beautiful girl. How are you? Tail wagon. You know what's up, eh? You know what's up. You're gonna get some chippies. Oh, can you sit down? Good girl. I need to turn the camera down towards you, though, eh? Yeah, there you are. Hi. Oh, it's such a good girl. All right. What is that? Is that a chippy? Is that a chippy? Notice how like she, ah! <laughs> I was just gonna say how good she is at not going to get it. Cause she knows she has to do a high five. <laughs> high five! Oh. High five! Oh, thanks so much. There's your chippy. Enjoy it. <laughs> what a good man. T-Storm says, hello Daisy. Alright, ready? One more? One more? High five! Oh, high five! One more, high five! Thank you, good girl. Good girl. <laughs> You're a good dog, eh? You're a good girl. Yeah, you are. Shrooling all over the floor. <laughs> Etta, careful, my friend. Alright, go on. Go on, thank you, Daisy. Just see her lurking in the background, like, what? More food? <laughs> More food? Okay, go. You can go. I'll see you soon. Yeah, well, I'm almost done. And then we'll go for a you-know-what. Good girl. All right, we're good. Uh, good doggo. Captain Daisy, you got it. 3 to contact Denver approach, one two zero point three five. There's Daisy. Good to see Daisy again, hell yeah, man. Always good to see Daiser. Uh, 3033 on our altimeter. Good. Okay, 45 north. Okay, 45 right, 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 I'm pretty sure it's set, so you can shut up. Ha 
<laughs> Sean, don't say those words. Don't say those words. <laughs> oh boy. A home without a dog is not a home. I agree, Brian. 100%, my friend. Cap, did you customly build your PC? I did indeed, nutty boy. I did indeed. Right, uh, 1828, cross the cone, VOR, at or above 1,000, cleared and localizer approach, report established on the localizer above. So I can repeat that for uh, United 1828. Right, 1828, cross the cone, VOR, at or above 1,000, cleared and localizer approach, report established on the localizer above. Alrighty, cones for 1 to 2,000 or above, or report established on the localizer uh, runway 9 for United 1828. 1828, under confirmed, clear to localizer approach. Third localizer approach, thanks for uh, United 1820. 1820, drive to that traffic, 12 o'clock, 15 miles, westbound altitude indicates 14,500, type unknown. Hey, firm, we'll keep an eye out for him. We got him on TCAS 1828, thanks. Alright, guys, 12,000. Contact Oakland Center, 132.9 or 5. Gotta maintain 12,000 until established. We're getting close here. Sorry, guys, I turned down the music because I couldn't hear him. There we go. Make a good landing? I'm hoping so, my friend. Always aim for those good landings. I'm going to throw out some spoilers here. Okay, uh, 145 Oakland Center, Roger. What's the elevation of your AP? What? What do you mean? Winds have dropped a tad. Lucky day. Really? I'm going to update the weather here. It's been updating the whole time. Nick, it's been crazy. 28013 gusting 18. Interesting. It's like a tail cross tailwind. It's going to be a weird one. Approaching. And Denver United 1828 localizer is captured. United 1828, Roger, report cancellation of IFR or missed approach this frequency. Change to advisory frequency approved. I report missed approach on this uh, frequency. Thanks for United 1828. Alright, you guys ready for this? I don't know if I am. I really don't know if I am. Approaching. I'm trying to see if we can see the airport. There it is, hanging off the cliff. Oh, dear Lord. Oh, dear Lord. This is going to be a tricky one. Landing lights are coming on. Let me just slow this bird down. Yeah, let's go flaps one. Actually, that's a little bit too slow right now. Hello? Thank you. 190 is good. Localizer is captured. Approaching. David Norris Christofferson, thank you so much, dude, for that subscription. Very much appreciated. Uh, V1 Simulation to you as well, man. Thank you so much for that as well. You guys are awesome. And Bruno Santos, thank you so much, dude, for the subscription as well. You guys are absolutely awesome. Absolutely awesome. All right, guys, get your landing rates in now. I hope I see some heavy, heavy landing rates. I'm going to get that guy there. Let's go gear down. I'm going to go ahead and take control of the aircraft here. Thank you. All right, let's go flaps two. Oh boy, this is gonna be sketchy. All right, flaps three. 
Nose lights on, runway turn off, lights are on. Captain, you miss Eric Carlson. It won't be the same without him. I agree, Anders. Pretty crazy, man. Can't believe they let him go like that. All right, flaps full. Need to get back on track here. All right, guys, landing checklist. Gears down, three green. Flaps are full. Spoilers are armed. Auto brake is set. Position two. I'm going to go ahead and get our brake fan on now because I know we're going to need it. seems to be like way off as well. Alright, two white, two red, looking good. Approaching zero nine. Roger. One thousand. Checked. Terrain. Terrain. One terrain. Two hundred. One hundred. Fifty. Forty. Thirty. Twenty. Retard. Retard. Five. All right, guys. Hold that Five nose. Hold that nose. First, remaining. Bring that nose down gently through the diesel. Two thousand remaining. Oh boy, we made it. We made it, boys. We made it. <laughs> One thousand oh, remaining. That sketchy. God damn. Yeah, those trees, right? All right, let's slow this bad boy down. We remaining. need to vacate here on the left. Yes, I know brakes are hot. I understand that. That's why the brake fins on. I get it. We're good. All right, One vacate the right here on remaining. the left. Alrighty, guys. Ooh, boy, we made it, boys. We made it. Holy moly, was that fucking sketchy or what? Just a little bit, eh? Just a little bit on the sketchy side. <laughs> holy fuck. Alright, landing lights coming off. Strobe lights coming off. Nose light over the taxi. Let's go ahead and fire up our APU. Fire up that APU. Nice job, Cap. Uh, for a minute, I thought you were too low and clipped some trees. Oh, we probably clipped some trees, without a doubt. We were too white, too red, though. I mean, the plane has like seven trees in it. Yeah, part of the scenery, guys. Part of the scenery. Just keep that in mind. It's payware scenery. Aren't you using your new rudder? Uh, we are, Pilot Sammy. Well, we're using one of the new rudders that they sent. We're using the uh, T-Flight rudder pedals. Obviously, we got to give everything a good look here, right? All right, so parking is uh, a little bit non-existent here. So uh, we're just going to go ahead and take... Uh, I don't even know where the hell we're going to go. Why is everything so yellow, right? I don't know. I don't know why the trees are like that. Maybe it's like that in real life? I don't know. Does it, like, simulate seasons or something here? I don't know. Anyways, we're going to use this white line right here. 
Try and taxi on. Enter the ramp in. That seems like it would be the only place where it would be suitable for that. F. Anderson Gomes, thank you so much, man, for that subscription. Very much appreciated, my friend. Glad you're enjoying the content, sir. Welcome aboard. All right, guys, let's pull that right about there. Let's go ahead and get our park brake on. Wonderful APUs on and available. Let's grab our APU bleed. Probe window heat can come off. Engine one, engine two. There we have it. Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the entire flight crew, we'd like to welcome you to Telluride International Airport. Clean up those flaps as well. Holy moly. As if we made it, guys. Sketchy ass flight that was. Chrissy, yeah, I don't, I don't think there's anything. Like, un unless you float half the runway, there's no way you're gonna get anything, anything under a 200, in my opinion, on that approach. It is very, very tough approach. The plane flew it well, though. It flew it very well. I will say that. Look at that, here we are at the gate at Telluride. Definitely not meant for A320s, but that is okay. All right, we disconnect from Pilot Edge. We did wonderful. Let's go ahead and toggle replay mode. Let's go and back this sucker up right about there. Should be good. I don't know how much we're gonna see from here, <laughs> but uh, I'll just play it out for now. Should be able to see something. Not the music. <laughs> the famous music. Alright, let's see how many fucking... <laughs> so many trees scraped our belly here. Uh, I don't... I mean, we, we clipped one tree. We clipped one tree. Everybody needs to simmer down here. Look at that flare, though. Oh, baby, was that beautiful. Right on the money. No fucking around, boys. <laughs> oh, easy there. The wind's kicked in. Hell yes. I'm all about that landing voice. That wasn't bad at all. Considering where we were flying into, we're going to take that as uh, as a greaser. Watch that one again here. Second place final. Nice, Joseph. Awesome, dude. Not even a blown tire. Hell no. Hell no. You know what? We're going to remove these. So I think they're causing all kinds of issues here in the background. They definitely are. Look at that, right on the marks, too, boys. Whoo, baby, was that sweet. Kick it over, Cap. Well, guys, that is going to do it for yet another live stream. I sincerely hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did. That is going to wrap up our month on the Pilot Edge Network as well. So uh, next week, we're going to be back in Europe. I want to say thank you to everybody who smashed that like button, hit that subscribe button, donated today. You guys are all absolutely amazing. Thank you guys so, so much for supporting the channel. Again, a huge thank you going out to Thrustmaster as well for sending me all these amazing peripherals that I now get to fly with. Absolutely amazing. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Flying the Airbuses around with a proper stick. I think our landings showcased how much nicer it is to fly an Airbus with the sticks. So absolutely amazing. So once again, guys, thank you guys so, so much. If you guys haven't done so already, make sure you smash down that like button. If you haven't done so as well, make sure you hit that subscribe button for fresh X-Plane 11 content weekly. I'm going to leave you guys with some replays here. I hope you guys enjoy them, and I will catch you guys all on Monday. Happy landing, guys. Safe skies. Take care, guys. Approaching.